Yeah. <laughs> Sloppy top. <clears throat> Just in time. What the... Sloppy top. Uh, we're, you got f almost four hundred subs. We'll tr we'll drop you a sub, bro. We'll drop a sub for you. Uh, featured channels, hella crits. You must be related in some way to hella crits. I am an investigator. Of sorts. That's my little bro. Uh, subbed back. <clears throat> Welcome in. Little bro. I don't know. The, uh... <laughs> the... The profile picture says otherwise. <laughs> it looks more mature. <laughs> <clears throat> We're rocking and rolling. I've got a st I've got a stack of tempura forces if anybody wants to test their luck. Uh for $45. That's 15 packs. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <clears throat> 45. 45 doll hairs. And a yes. Oh, hella crits. I forgot to give you a signed vintage. Um, let's do... I feel like... I feel like a signed legendary Vulpix. Is in order for hella crits. We saw. Uh, I normally do signed energies, but I have a I have a spectacular stack of vintage cards that are a little less than <clears throat> uh, near mint. So I sign them instead because I mean the market's so saturated with these uh, cards that they're not really worth much even. Even in mint or near mint condition, so why not sign the ones that are uh, light play, damage, bent corners, things like that? Why not just sign them, get them out of rotation, one for one. Uh, <laughs> increase the value of the others that exist, whilst having a cool signed card other than just a plain energy. <clears throat> the Vulpix. Uh, it's 555 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, uh, Sloppy Toppy Mystery. Sloppy or Sloppy Top. Sorry. Sloppy Top Mystery. Sloppy. Hold up. I'm jacking some stuff up here. Let's go. Whoosh. 
You could add it to Helicrit's bag. <clears throat> I'll I'll keep it separate just for the sake of sakeness, for the goodness of sakes. Uh, we've got a tour chick. We've got a single mystery pull here. Uh, and then I'll put you guys together in a bigger bag. Uh, we've got a Zamazenta V shiny promo that came out of that. No double banger there. Uh, I'll put you guys both in a bigger bag together. That way you guys are separate but in the same shipment. All right, let's go. And you'll get a separate. Uh, since you pulled the Torchic, I actually have a signed one. Uh, I'll, put, <laughs> I'll put that to go with your other one. <clears throat> I have a, I had a signed one sitting right there. Um, we'll put that like that. And then actually this, I don't know if anybody's going to grab that or that code card, but have at it. the hell all right notebook this is paldea evolved all right i've also got uh, if anybody's interested in this bulk um if you want to select a few cards out of here for one one piece, uh, I've got some hollows back here that maybe you might be interested in. That one's not a hollow, but we could throw those out as well. I've also got these available. They're for sale. They're nano blocks. Um, they are seven dollars each. I got a Mewtwo and a Jolteon available. So I sell a little bit more than just regular stuff. I've got a Paradox Rift uh, for ten dollars. A three pack blister here comes with a promo. Summer Evie, welcome in. How you doing? I my eyes itching. <clears throat> doing okay. Lurking Lowry, it's got to be almost time for work, eh? Sunday. 
Summer Lowry. Uh, just so you know, Lowry, uh, if the Charmander doesn't fill up at the end of this week, I'm going to offer, uh, either a refund or store credit, whichever, whichever you want. Cause this Charmander is not moving. Uh, there's not much interest in it. I'm noticing. So store credit or refund or if i get another slab or something we can uh we could transfer credit over <clears throat> yeah there's still 13 spots left uh I don't know what else to do. <sighs> um, let's see. Menu. Uh, let's add the bounty to the temporal forces packs. Uh, no energy guesses, but uh, bounty is available for temporal forces. Well, it'll automatically come with your purchases of temporal forces. So That includes the $45.15 pack bundle that's sitting here. So if anybody's interested in that, um, you could... You could uh, inherently win a slab if you pull the best hit uh, from Tempura Forces. You could win the Charizard, so. <clears throat> uh, let me check the pro I'm going to check TCG Player real quick for the price. Where the fuck are my recent searches? I love how they don't keep my recent searches except for a few random ones. Uh, temporal forces. It's got to be Iron Crown still, but it's eighty four seventy seven. So if you pull an eighty four dollar card, eighty five dollar card, technically, if you round up, um, you get a card that's worth more than that. I kill it on the energy guesses. So I've got a deal of Tempura Forces right here for 45 bucks, 15 packs. That's what, three? That's $3 each. So uh, outside of this, the packs are $4, but this deal is available for 45 What well, Iron Leaves is best of no iron crown iron leaves ain't nothing iron leaves is like the fifth best card one two three four yeah fifth uh morty's convictions actually i think climbing in value somebody's pumping these cards though because i see reese's sold that's going for 80 89 dollars so somebody's uh, manipulating prices here a little bit because it goes from a uh, thirty. What was it? Thirty-eight dollars. What's the lowest? It was the lowest was thirty-seven sixty-seven, but now it's up to. A $45 card, supposedly. Uh, there's a bunch listed at 89 bucks from Solo You Go or some shit. Who's obviously pumping the price up. But how is there only four listings for this card? That's what's getting me. 
How the hell? There's only... What? This doesn't make any sense. Bro, if you go to the Morty's Conviction trainer card, there's only four available listings. And three of them are $89.97. And one is $46.83. What the hell's going on here? Are my filters on? English? What? Did somebody really buy out... Did somebody literally buy out all of TCG players fucking Mortys or what? Because there's only four listings, but the guy, the same person has, uh, let's see, eight, 11, 11 of the same card. Near mint, moderate played, and lightly played. And they're listed in three different conditions, but the same price. So that's definitely some market manipulation. Um, they're definitely messing with these cards. Wow. <clears throat> Bianca's devotion. I want to kind of, I want to delve into some more of these cards to see what people are doing with them. How could there literally only be four listings? That's crazy. Unless TCG player is really going to die out on us. There's a, the ghastly is down to $18. Uh, it was pumped all the way up to 34 bucks, and it dropped like a rock overnight. That's crazy. Pump, pump, pump it up. Apparently, people saw through the bullshit and say, you know what? I'm just going to price mine low. Fuck it. So I can sell it. This is the one... An only card listed on TCG Player with over 100 listings. N nearly 200 listings. All the other uh, major hits in the set have uh, under 100. Yep. Which is wild. The Gengar Full Art has 104, though. Uh, oh, Maximum Belt has 198. Well, once you get down into the cheaper ones, there's more than 100. There's something definitely going on with uh, TCG players' listings. It's got to be an issue. Ghostly... <laughs> Ghostly. Um, I'm probably going to take off, though. All right, I'll stay live. I'll just fucking play games or something, because ain't shit going on here. play some tcg live with my two decks i only have two decks uh but maybe i can fine tune them fine tune them yeah i got a clock in at work it's all good um i just want to stop in to say what up what up appreciate you fam so pretty, it's going to be a pretty dead night for me. There's other other people streaming that are uh, more important. Teen psychosis risk. May, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe linked to computer and video game use. 
uh, politicians. I think the ones that try to, I mean, listen, yeah, some kids, like, they're too influenced by some shit, but it's not just games. It could be anything around them. They're just, they're just too openly influenced by outside influences, which is ridiculous. Kids need to learn critical thinking. That's what the issue is. It's like children these days are programmable. Which is absurd. What the fuck is the deal here? Why is this too large? All right, let's uh, let's let's fit this to where it needs to be. All right, now we can play while we wait for uh, something to happen in this fucking stream. I'm gonna play this 151 deck. Uh, it's it's a little sketchy. I want to like, I, I want to play it and fuck up with it enough to where I feel like maybe I could figure or think of trainers that are better suited for this deck. You can build any kind of Pokemon, but you got to find the right trainers to go with them. Do you want to go first? No. No, I don't. You have no p basic Pokemon in your hands. And this is another issue. Is I keep getting a lot of mulligans out the gate with this deck. Not only that, I think this game is really biased uh, when it does coin tosses. I think it's full of shit. Uh, some Pokemon, when I do a coin toss, I have like the best of luck that I've ever seen with coin tosses. And then when it comes to this Pokemon right here, this fucking Squirtle, anytime I flip with withdraw... I get like a 90% fucking tails. 90% uh, of getting a tails rather than a heads to block the damage from incoming pokies. Which is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Uh, great. And I'm going against a fucking electric Pokemon deck. So this guy is going to sizzle my whizzle. Right out the gate. Twenty. Forty. I'm getting fucking blasted. Watch. Oh, I got a heads. Go ahead and make me look stupid. Go ahead. But now I can't do anything unless I fucking evolve. And it's still... Dude's going to do 200 damage to my fucking Blastoise. Great. Let's see if the whole deck is electric. Fucking bitch. Got the Buddy Buddies. Alright, so he's going Doduo, which is going to evolve into the Dodrio. Which has an ability of some sort. I can't remember exactly what it is. But I think it's... Uh, no, the ability or the move is 10 damage for every... Or 30 damage for every damage counter. This is a very popular deck. <laughs> I've seen this, this deck go a, a million ways. Uh. 
How come I can't fucking attack? Yo, Russ! What's going on? I'm just playing the game. It's it's kind of slow tonight, so... We're gaming it up. Gaming it up! Man, I wish I could play music that I like. Without getting my stream shut down. Of course he's gonna kill me because somehow I couldn't fucking attack Ugh. I have to try to play this Um, I can't fucking evolve. I can't do nothing. Always enjoy, uh, <laughs> hey, I got two heads in a row with this fucking move, but it's still gonna stun needle me and paralyze me and prevent me from attacking apparently in the next round, which is BS. Uh, whenever either player puts a basic Pokemon from their hand on the bench, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Fuck. Oh my god, that's such a good Yo, I'm gonna build that deck with the, with this these trainers right here. Gape Jaw with the fucking Dodrios. Oh my goodness. That's such a That's such a banging ass move right there. Tails, yes. Eat shit. Do I still stand a chance? That's the question. Oh, thank heavens. Heavens to Megatroid. Alright, um... Let's see here. Done. Uh, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Alright, end turn. Son of a biscuit. I've got a deal going. I've got a $45 Temporal Forces deal. And it comes with the bounty now. So we're putting the bounty on Temporal Forces. Um, I've got 15 pack deal for 45 bucks. After that, the rest of the packs are $4 each. So uh, I've got 15 packs... $45, that's $3 a pack. And you get the uh, the bounty. So if you pull the Iron Crown, guess what's going home with you? Just guess. Guess! Cherry Zard. Altar. Which is actually the next set that's going to be going up in value. Uh, Brilliant Stars is going to be the next set going up in value. Fusion Strike just started. Uh, Brilliant Stars is going to be the next one, so snag, snaggle those, uh, fuck. Of course. Of course. I had to do a water deck and end up with all these fucking electric pokies. Got stupid Zapdos. I want to build a Dodrio deck. Gape Jaw, Bog, and Dodrio. Where's my fucking notepad? I gotta write this down. Uh, 
so do dodrio uh these are the main pokies and then trainers uh gate jaw bog that's going to be one of our trainers that we've got to base this this deck around um ow give me a fucking water energy please uh ugh Let's retreat. And then we'll do Aqua Split so we can kill this asshole and attack two of these pokies. On the bench. I think I've lost. <laughs> I don't think I'm going very far with the rest of this. Bro's got his lightning move. This attack does 90 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It has any damage counters on it, of course. So that's 180 damage. Oh, that's no, 60. Oh, I didn't apply the weakness. Well, I'm still screwed. I don't have enough energies to attack. Um, Bill's transfer. Put them on my bench. Uh, one. Put them in my hand. Ammonite, Amastar. Uh, we're turtle. Doesn't even matter. I haven't won a game of it yet. Fuck, bro. It's insane. Yeah, I'm going to concede because I'm just wasting my time here. There ain't no way I'm going to win that. I taught myself and have about 50-50 win rate. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, you and me both. Like, I didn't really understand it. I had too much ADHD to even fucking pay attention to what the rules were. I still hardly, like, if I was to go, like, build a deck and try to go play, I would probably fuck up so bad. It's it's simply because this tells you what you're able to do next by highlighting the cards is the only reason why I'm able to play. Otherwise, I'd be, like, fucking brain dead because it just, that type of information just doesn't stick with me. Like, however many trainers I'm allowed to use in one turn versus Pokemon tools versus fucking, uh, you know, items and things like that. Like, I'd be so lost in the game. Uh, yeah, it's not even. Uh, let me switch decks. Let me go Gengar. Actually, let's create a deck. I want to see, uh, create a deck for the standard format, so... Uh, let's see, Doe. There we go. So we've got this one, two, three, four. I just want to build. I want to build an entire deck of just based off of these to see what kind of damage can be done. Cause ballistic beak. This attack does thirty more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So. If I use that trainer gape, if I use this and I add all four of those, and then I I I, I pick, let's see what these are just any energies we could use. Um, what could I pair this with though? Like, I need something. 
If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin. If heads prevent that damage. Um, eh. I need some like out the gate Pokemon that can kind of do some attack shit. This only does V Pokemon. Uh, uh, basically played war with Pokemon cards. So this one will do 220, but that requires four energy. That's not, eh. Uh, once during your turn, you draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Flip a coin. If tails, this attack does nothing. I mean, that'll be good having the barrel, but it has to be evolved. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, uh, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. That doesn't really do much. Barbarical. Your opponent puts any prize pull. No. Boofer. This a poke this Pokemon takes twenty less damage from attacks. Is Miltank still a thing? Hold on, let me see. Oh, not the not the good one, that miracle body one. If this Pokemon was healed during this turn, this attack does ninety more damage. Cancel. Nope. Alright. Like, I want to create, like, a unique deck. I don't really like playing, like, entirely copycatted decks. Like, I like when I see, like, a specific thing in a deck, but I don't like to completely copy the entire deck. Um, this could go well. Uh, if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this attack does 100 more damage. So 230. Explosive fire. So we could do like a like a Charizard style. Or what's this one do? Scorching Bazooka. 40... Plus, this attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, If your opponent's active Pokemon, oh, this does 200 damage. Fighting Sword. Now, if we could find. So we could play like this. Because this evolves right from Charcadet rather than becoming. Well, fuck. How about a deck using Magmortar 
Add Electivire from Brilliant Stars. Magmortar. How come when I type mag, it comes in with uh, <laughs> Electivire? For Brilliant Stars, this, this right here? Explosive Bolt. If any of your benched mag mortar... Have any damage counters on them? This attack does 90 more damage. Fifty damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, that's not bad. And then the Mag Mortar. Damn, 240 damage. Ooh, these motherfuckers. These dudes are bopping. These two are bopping. And I can do fire electric energy because, I mean... So we go with a basic magmar of any kind so I could evolve the mag mortar. Easily. This is a stage one. These bad boys go good together. Uh, three, four. Exchange. Thank you. Um, which one's got a better start? Collect, draw a card, or live coal, which does 10 damage. I would rather draw a card if I had to. It's uh, a lot of Pokemon, though. Let's go. Uh, Let's go on three each. So there's that. Um, what are some good trainers that we could use to basically... We want to look for... We want to be able to search our deck. That's one thing we need to do. Ultra Ball. Uh, if you discard two other cards from your hand, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Uh, search your deck for an item card and a Pokemon tool card, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Search your deck for up to three evolution Pokemon that don't have a rule box. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then shove your deck. Uh, I think this one. A Rezu. Uh, look at the top of your card of your deck. You may switch that card for one of your face down prize cards. Mmm. You use this card if your opponents... Nope. Don't need a poison. Draw three cards. Barry's kind of useful. Um, the state... Nope. I don't have any stage twos. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon that has 30 or less remaining HP. Uh, bills transfer. Put them into your hand and shuffle. 
We'll do two of those. Search your deck for up to two item cards. Reveal them. Stop t pretending that you know how to read. I know, this is tough. It it's tough. It really is. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less. Uh, Doduo. It's the only one, so that's not really... That's not a really good card to have. Chlamydius... Uh, flip a coin if head search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it. If tail search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Do one of those. Candice Dick Fit. Uh, the attacks attached of this Pokemon card is attached to. The, the, the. the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon V. Now we want to be able to do damage to any Pokemon that we attack. Flip two coins. Put a number of cards up to the number of heads from your discard pile on top of your deck in any order. That would be good. Uh, once during each player's turn, that player may discard a basic energy card from their hand in order to draw a card. Uh, damage pump. Move two damage counters from one of your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. Ooh, we need these. Yeah, draw two cards. Uh, look at your face down prize cards. Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand instead. Um, Dandruff or Dendra. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw cards until you have five cards. Uh, energy Retrieval. Put up to two basic energy cards. From your discard pile. Search your deck for a basic energy card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Let's go with two of these. Two of these. Flip a coin of heads. Attach a basic. Uh, we're going to go with four of these. And then put the rest energies. Because uh, we're going to need a fair amount of fire and Pikachu energy. Eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll go one extra Pikachu over the others. We're going to name this deck What the Fuck. And we're going to go test it out right now. All right, uh, what the fuck, set active. Let's go play it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this deck is. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, uh, but we're going to see. <laughs> no clue. Skipped frames detected over 27 minutes ago, 29 minutes ago, over the last two minutes. Oh, I had some skipped frames earlier. Oh, would you look at that. It's like when you name your Pokemon bad words in the original games. <laughs> yep. I just hope my mom would never look at the screen. Marsuela! What's going on? You will go first. Fuck, I didn't want to go first. Juan... Juancho Bota. Fucking jackass. Draw a card. Of course. Give me my fire energies, too. Zaddy. Fuck sticks. Use hyper beam. <laughs> I, I went with the basic ones like cock, penis, fucker. All those, you know, just straight up shit. Um, I don't know if these old cartridges are going to have save data. I doubt it because the batteries are probably dead, but 
there could be there could be a chance in hell that they still work and um i gotta find my game boy color and hopefully that still works and throw some batteries in it and we'll see if these og cartridges have any life in them you know what i'm saying Of course I can't fucking... I've got my damage pump on the bent on the hand, not in the in the bench. You can't put these in the bench. Um What is this? What does this card do? Uh, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of this Pokemon card attached to 30 more damage. Okay, whatever. Search your deck for up to three evolutions. Alright, let's try it. Um, is that it? Let's just grab these three. And then we'll evolve. Oh, shit. That removed my ability to draw a card. Oops. Or do Mega Punch. Well, that sucked. Stupid. Anyways, if I get damage counters either way, I'm gonna fucking move them. As soon as I get a Doduo. Did I add a Doduo? I added Doduos to my deck, didn't I? Now I can't remember. I might be sitting on Dodrios with no fucking way to evolve. I added the Doduos, right? Fuck me running. See, this is why I can't play the game. Because I ain't paying attention to shit. Yeah, I just have to change the battery. Clean up the terminal. Put a new battery in if that's the case. And I'll lose my save data. But, you know. It is what it is. I don't even try. I'm not trying enough. All right, now, now Zaddy could do something. Actually, let's throw Gabe Jaw down and fucking Mega Punch this stupid ass fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Bow. Take yourself somewhere, buddy. <laughs> I just lost one. Oh, this dude could just fuck me. Where the fuck are the rest of my draws at? Well, whatever. Move, bitch. Get out the way. I better get enough... Fuck, man. I get a... Bro, I'm such a sore loser, I could not play this game. <laughs> You're a sore loser. I can't even build my bench. It's not giving me anything to fucking build a bench. This is what I say. This is what I'm saying. This game is so fucking biased. Like, this is always my luck. When I, Whenever I'm trying to fucking build up a bench, I cannot do it. And then this dickhead's got all the best cards on his shit. He gets all the energies he needs right away. He gets every fucking thing he needs. Not me. See, look. I pull shit I don't really need right now. Like, come on, bro. 
I'm fucking done. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Eat a dick. A whole bag of them. I gotta go check this deck because I'm not sure I put those duos in it. Which is gonna fuck me up. Dude, don't fucking... Bro, this is one of the biggest pet peeves of mine right here. Is when this thing just throws shit all over the screen and I'm trying to go somewhere. Like, I'll collect my shit. You don't gotta fucking throw it up and make it the fucking uh, unavoidable fucking option. Okay, asshole? Oh, yeah, I, I got Doduo in here. Okay. So let's let's try again. Let's see if we get better pulls, a better draw on the on the deck here. You're sucking dick for crack. I'm trying to make my first deck right now. Whose deck we checking out? Uh, unzip your pants. Daddy Ranch. <laughs> I keep my deck in my underwear. We've got Electicus. Um, we've got... If Magmar is on your bench, this attack does 40 more damage. It should do more damage per Magmar. No? Since when are these guys like partners in crime? That's That's my question. If you like to watch porn with the dude having a big dick, you may just be gay. The biggest deck in the West. You're in the West? Turn them attach a fire energy card from their discard pile to one of their benched po fire Pokemon. If a player attached energy to one of their... Pokemon in this way. Put two damage counters on that Pokemon. No, East Coast, Boston. You don't sound like Boston. You're not born there. That's for damn sure. I'll tell you right fucking now you weren't born there, buddy. If you were, then you're just... You're just different. No fucking way. You don't even sound like it, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Someone throw this guy the fuck out. Get him out of the room. I want to hear another word from this man. Discard your shits. Uh. <clears throat> you must have been kidnapped and taken some other state for most of your childhood life by some crazy lady at the grocery store who couldn't have children. Uh, and she made you breastfeed her dry, saggy tits until you were 15 years old and she couldn't even lactate. That's probably what it was. Born and raised in Boston my whole life. I don't know why I don't have the accent. <laughs> Fuck me running. That sounds accurate. <laughs> Homie was kidnapped. She even put you in Girl Scouts. <laughs> she she kidnapped a boy, didn't even, but she wanted a daughter. Made you wear a wig and join uh, Girl Scouts. Clam chowder. I need a ride in my car. Uh, light punch, light work. Uh. Take your crusty ass and get. Why am I not getting good draws, though? This is pissing me off. Daddy Ranch.
Bro, if you if you have if you have like a group of people that don't know where you're from, you got to have them guess where you're from. And offer like a million dollars. Offer to either give them a million dollars or they have to pay you like 50 bucks if they can't guess right. It's got to be. It's got to be. Bro, can I get a fucking Pokemon? This, this motherfucker. You can still... Yeah, but I don't want to waste energy. For what, bro? I'm not getting any evolutions. You want me to throw some we some weenas, weenas, and a cheese and cheeseburgers on the bar barbecue? <clears throat> About fucking time. You know, I'm just going to throw it on here in case I survive. Maybe I'll get an evolution Pokemon right here. Oh, thank heavens. At least I got a capturing aroma. And this asshole. Uh, this Pokemon's attacks cost for each prize card your opponent has. Fuck. He's going to kill me with this one. He's going to fucking obliterate me. And I haven't had the chance to evolve. <gasps> I'm super angry. Yeah, yeah. You can't use this attack on the next turn though, right? Okay, here we go. Thank you, Lord Heavens. Oh. Do shit my way. Fuck, it only does... Well, he can't attack anyway, so fuck him. <clears throat> I might have a chance here, folks. I might have a chance. Uh, that Growlithe is going to turn deadly, though. Uh, search your deck for the two basic energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Oh. He could definitely stoke the flames here. Did this dodge do just redraw a whole deck? Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Fucker. <clears throat> Come on, give me another do duo. I just spent like 30 minutes of my life reading the most memorable quotes from the Tiger King. Someone please shoot me now. Hey, that's a good read. What are you talking about? That's good shit. <clears throat> Quotes are fucking memorable, all right? Oh, look at this.
Let's throw them two down. I can't fucking evolve, though. Yes. Three, not 30. Oh, th three minutes. Okay, well, that's not bad. I would have taken a toaster bath. <laughs> <clears throat> can't. It can't be that horrible. I could lose right here, though. Uh, I have no way to divert. Yep, I lost. Fuck me. I don't have no bench Pokemon. I'm done. He's about to kill me. I don't have nothing to fucking put on the bench. This deck is pissing me off. I've lost. Yo, Alice! Um, I've got a 15... I've got a 15-pack deal for Tempura Forces, by the way. 45 bucks for 15 packs, and it automatically comes with the bounty. So if you pull the Iron Crown... You're getting the Charizard with it uh, as a boner bonus. Skipped frames. Appreciate it. Fuck, man. This thing's not drawing me what I need when I need it. I feel like I got to go mess with the... Okay. Get the fuck off my screen. Oh, my God. I don't give a fuck right now. Stop. Right now. All right, what other... Okay, what can I trade out? So I don't need... I don't need that many of this because it gets drawn too fucking much. It's going to bug the shit out of me. I want more of this. Give me three of those. Um, uh, I never get these damage pumps. Fucking assholes. I could take probably one less of these. And grab an extra bills transfer. All right. <clears throat> ben Lurkin was making supper. Where, where, where the hell are you from to use the term supper? I hate that I have to leave my door open and flies are getting in. But I have to leave my door open because Luna um, Luna has diarrhea. I don't know what the fuck from. But it's absurd. How about Raikou V or Entei from Brilliant Stars? Yeah. Maybe. As a Magmortar replacement? You want me to say it in Spanish? No, the term supper is not a California term. That's what's getting me. That's like a southern term. Texas and and then further east of the south. You know what I'm saying? More east of the south. Uh, if Magmar is on your bench, uh, yes. We're going to play him first. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to do this. And then, done. Oh, shit, I should have saved the Doduo on my hand until I played Gapejaw. Whatever. But here we go. I, I can't even get the right fucking energy to come with this first hand here. But it does have a bird that's going to take double damage... Uh, Bought a bundle. Uh, let's throw that out. I can't fucking... I can't. Uh, 
reverses and up, says Marcella. She bought the bundle. FBI 10. I have family in Texas. Texas. Marcella's got the bundle. What is this? The bundle is now gone. Good luck, Marcella. Pull some epic bangers. Uh, great. No fucking energy gets pulled. See what I'm saying? This fucking shit always dicks me over. Jason, what's going on, fam? <coughs> Why does this dude have so many different types of Pokemon on his shit? Does he have the Lost Zone? What's this? Hope you pull some fire. Give me a Dodrio. Oh, my fucking Lord. Whatever. Uh, let's see what happens. Cause I don't have nothing else to do. This thing's out of line. All right, I think I'm gonna concede so I can fucking open these packs. <laughs> All right, let's try to pull that Mick bundle. Oh, I'm fucking lagging. Let me turn this game off. Let's see if we return to normal. Why is this thing fucking up now? Am I not overclocked enough on my fucking thing here? What's... Uh, yes. My YouTube not telling me who's on. I only found 10 because I was checking shorts and noticed we made the same meal for tonight. Uh, 
uh, power limit up. Um, temp limit. I'm running at like 30, 38 Celsius. So where's the fucking issue? I still got to try to switch this thing over. All right. I also didn't get a notification about 10 stream earlier. Fuck me running. All right. Marcel is getting uh, the bounty going on these packs. The fly that's flying around this room is going to fucking die. Reverses and up. All right, here we go. No scream tails in there. Bronzong, Croconaw, and Iron Valiant. 15 chances to scream. Pull me something good, because I hate this set. <laughs> I added on to Marcella's uh, statement because I feel like it is true. Hella crits. Good luck. Look, an Electivire. All right, here we go. Licky Licky, Excadrill, and Pharrella Gutter. Uh, Mar Marcella, would you have jumbos you don't want or need? Alice, you should make one of those, uh, one of those, uh, those three D cards with jumbo cards. I hope that's exactly why you're asking for jumbo cards. Uh, we've got a gold here. <clears throat> oh, we ripping, we ripping. Bam! Iron leaves, and another for alligator. Had to cut the kid's hair. Uh. Just give them, give them one of those uh, Cabbage Patch Kids that used to eat. FBI 10. Uh, Angel's Home. I was trying to give some away at a garage sale last year. What happened? Nobody wanted them? Hello, mi amor. Hola. What'd you bring me? Snooks. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hola, mi amor. CinemaCon's in? Yeah. Fuck. Hey, hey. what is this? Hey, that's from Wish, remember? Oh, yeah. Hey, Papa. Bruh, this is yours. How was your day? I don't want this bullshit nacho How was cheese. Your day, really? How was your day? Huh? Fine. She's... Claiming she's bringing me snacks, and this is all her kind of shit. Ooh, toxic waste worms. Can you try this? I brought this one so you can try it. Please, I just want you to try it. Because it's spiced. I've already tried this. I have, I have not. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy. It's spiced. So it's raspberry tasted flavor Coca-Cola? Raspberry spiced. Yeah, spiced. Open and try it. You try it. I don't want to drink this. I want this. you to try it first, and then I can try it. Fine. Yes. Hi, Marcella. Smell it. Yeah, we'll try that. Your turn. The CinemaCon over? Yeah, it's over. Another. Ooh, what? That's nasty. Okay, we'll go dump it out. Um, I don't coming? want to drink it. Tomorrow they're they're coming um, from. What is it called? So tomorrow's the last day of, of of them. So they're all leaving tomorrow. Who's coming in? I forgot who's checking in. What does it have? It has diabetes. It does. It does. That's why I bought it for me. I like some of my jumbos. I'm definitely keeping my dark rye and umbry. Yeah, I I wanted that for my cousin when I went to Colorado. He had that. Walking wake. Mm. Wake up. Can't go shower because I'm starving. You're starving? 
Didn't you eat your lunch? No. You didn't take it again? I did take it, but I didn't eat it. Again? I was in Augustus Tower today. You want me to walk all the way to the cafeteria and reheat it? No, there's microwaves over there. No, there's not. Yeah, if you go to 64th floor, all the way at the end, there's that room at the end, there's a microwave in there. I can go in there. Yeah, you can. You got a room key. It opens that door. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Because you're a housekeeper. How do I know more about the job that I no longer work at than you do? Well, I'm not investigating what's in the rooms, but bye. <laughs> I go and do my job and that's it. Not cheese mosa. Hey, it's my job to know where everything's at, just in case uh, of an emergency. Again? Yeah. What's wrong, Luna? What'd you eat? I don't know. You must have fed her something. I did not. What did you feed her? What's wrong, Luna? I filled the Pikachu binder front to back with jumbos and put dubs in another for the kids. I'll take whatever you don't want. All right, here we go. Come on, banger. Let's pull that iron crown. So all we're looking for is the crown so we could get that freaking that beastly beast. Plus, oh, Wuggy Wugs. Oh, maybe. Dump it. Dump it. Dump the water out. Yeah. Give him clean, regular water without that shit in it. Marcella, did you check my short today? Uh, they, your shorts usually, at least for me, your shorts usually just pop up on my feed. So I hit them up when they when they come through like that. Lick, licky, licky. Oh. For Ranger Raya, uh, Alice, nope, not yet. Send a package next time I'm home. Come on. Come on. Pull that banger. Nope. The done sparse. Colonoscopy the done sparse. Of all things. Here we go. Come on. Salvatore. Electivire reverse. Haunter reverse. Raging Bolt. I like how they call it Raging Bolt, but it's a dragon type. I mean, it does require one electric energy, which is good. Has no weakness or resistance. This seems, I don't know, this seems like it's missing some color. Does this does this music track remind you of uh Lincoln Park? Let me turn it up a little bit. I'm getting Lincoln Park vibes from this. Seventeenth like, what up? Uh, Pokey level ten. What's going on, fam? Welcome in. Pokey Dawn. Pikachu. Palafin. Squirtle! Azumarill. Linton. And Duh Dun Sparse. If you're new here, uh, you just figured out what we do when we pull a screen tail. We pulled that bad boy. What are you doing, Straight pulled it. 
Just chilling out. Astley. Sizzlypeed. Meryl. Heavy Baton. Iron Valiant. Sandy Shock. Pineco. Runiclus. And Bramblegast. I thought we were on a hot streak of pulls for a minute, but we kind of chilled out. Uh, we had a few hits in a row, though. This pack feels a little heavy. Just send me a DM in about a week to remind me. Sometimes I have brain farts. I'll be having brain diarrheas. Squirtle! Number two. Ooh, Coridon. Uh, we're doing good. Oh, bye. I had you on loud and my neighbor was walking by. Howdy, neighbor. Uh-oh. Do we got another prime catcher? Oh, nope. A maximum belt for whooping some ass. Zara Aura and Iron Valiant. I like when you finger the pack like that. Uh -huh. Last pack. Can we still pull the crown? Can we get the last pack magic? Uh, 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 uh. It just comes out so easy when you do it. You gotta get it wet. Quit violating my packs. Last pack magic. At least a scream tail. Come on. It's $3 a pack. What a deal. Steals and deals. Uh, Bianca's devotion. Come on. Is it going to... Nope. Iron Valiant. Sorry, Marcelo. My fault. Yeah, he... he it, was, it was purely peer pressure. Peer pressure. All right. So we've got... Uh, we've got a couple of... All right. Hits. Oh, Rancher, he doesn't need an excuse to be freaky with the pokies. I show up to pack fingering. That's your own fault. All right, you didn't get the bounty. Of course, these... uh. These hits are impossible. That was the deal of the day. Well, uh, there's... There's technically other deals of the day, but there are going to be a uh, Scarlet Violet base. It's 10. What can you do? I know, right?
Ooh, not base. Nineteen. Let's do some quick maths. So I've got 19 Scarlet and Violet base for $55. That's the deal for that one. Uh, that's like $2.89 a pack. So if you want to jump and hump that deal. 19 s and base. And uh, that comes with the bounty. energy guesses are available for that stack you could do energy guesses at the regular price um, so 55 bucks for 19 great deal to rip something yeah he gave away a lot though ran two gives the other night from the MC stack yeah it comes with the bounty so if you pull the best hit from Scarlet Violet base which was the uh, uh, why am I brain farting on this? <sighs> Make a deal from whatever, don't sell them. And we'll battle at least. Folding clothes. Sorry, I missed the chat. What's good? Uh, Mir Miriam, right? Miriam's the best card out of the set. Or... Yeah. So if you pull a $26 card, you could win a Charizard for basically 55 bucks plus. How much of the stack is left? Uh, not a lot. If you would like to give me a moment, though, I do have to... Um... I have to shuffle in. If, if anybody's going to buy mysteries, I got to shuffle in some more mysteries. Uh, I'll battle one for $3. I'm sure others would too. Or two, two packs for six. Breaking news. We've got to mix in some mysteries.
I've added a slab or two. Give us a peek because we're here. I want it raw dog. Founders here, Ken X, made an order. Order in the court. Let's run this Charmander. It is, it is readily available. We can hold that up there for now. Hoping that we get some interest. Ten OV, uh, breaking news. Three, that's a steal. Well, there went the whole stack. So we've got this Charmander. Uh, if anybody's interested in a Charmander race. Legendary collection, reverse hollow. Don't pass on the greatness. You got temporal for three. Uh, no, I sold that deal. Three dollar temporals are usually the the sleeved boosters. Uh, whenever I get those, those usually come in a in a bundle at three dollars each. But the whole bundle has to be bought. You hear him say, "What? We had another accident. Did you close the door?" Ay, ay, ay. Ten had the deal. Marcella got it. She grabbed it. Blame her if you wanted it and you didn't get it. It's her fault. Team Pokemon's here. Huh? Uh... I don't know. If you want to leave it for me. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not as bad as when she did it in the laundry room. Huh? See?
Ken X has an order. Yeah, I'll check it real here, real quick here. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm shuffling in the new, new hits to the mysteries. He's inserting something into the mystery box. Yes. Inserting. I'm a bad sales woman. What are you selling? Non-existent packs. <laughs> Honest mistake. How are you, big fam? You calling me fat? Flip out like, uh, who is it? Choji from Naruto? If I buy some mysteries and get nothing but V's, that's about, that's about all that's in there. Some people be like that. Uh, 
It's a risky, it's a risky business. Let me check what, uh, Ken X got. Ken X, uh, Hella Crits, and Mi Marcella all got mysteries. All right, let me, uh, let me load these up back into the dispensary. I have to do the old reach around in here. All right, we're in. We're in and we're ready. Don't forget, we've got 19 packs of SMV base for fifty-five bucks. That includes the bounty. Wow, Ken X has more subs than my channel. Uh, just throwing cards everywhere. Well, you know that's the way to mix them up the best, so you get the most random outcome. All right, so Ken X, you're first with a single pull. Ken X getting a single mystery pull. All right, so we've got the Ralts. The Ralts on bath salts. And we've got the Cali Rex V for you. Ken X. All right, next. Let me see who came in first. 
technically. Ken X was definitely first. Marcel is next, and then two, three, four. Five and six. Six for twenty for Marsuela. And we've got a Misty's Cedra up front. We've got Tentacruel. And the reverse or the hollow bee drill. Uh, we've got a first edition Rapid Dash. We've got a Mew V. We've got an Energy. We've got a Pidgeot EX from XY. D Evolutions. We've got a Japanese Lucario. Uh, you were the fastest swimmer. Older one. We've got the Vile Plume Non Hollow. And. PSA 10 tentacle. What the hell? All right, let's get the tentacle out. We've got a fossil PSA 10. I don't know if you're trying to get a fossil set in PSA 10 built up, but there it is. Pity it. All right, here we go. Got a mighty Ena. All right, what's our last one? Ball toy. And Talon Flames. No extra hits there. your first edition rappy cedra pity it tent to cruel tops card vile plume non hollow this is just a front card so it's not in the best condition Um, Ball Toy. Idiot Talon Flame to the sack. All right, 
And I'm assuming you don't want the hollow or the Japanese. All right, here we go. Six pools for crits. Four. All right, here we go. Mr. Crits. Another oddball slab to add to the collection. I mean, a, a PSA 10 fossil set, a complete set, probably go for a little bit of a big chunk of change there if you can get the whole set. All right, Hella Crits, you're up. PSA 10. All right, Hella Crits getting the quack. Quaval, Quackwaval, EX Gold, First Pack Magic, Machop Me Daddy, and a Gallade V Full Art. Alright, here we go. Corviknight Reverse. We've got a Drapion V. We've got a Bannet. And the Charizard V-Star. All right, here we go. We've got a Energy, E-Reader Energy, and a Roserade. We've got the Metatite and the Iron Boulder. Full Art EX as well. Hey. What's on your face? How you what? Oh, you had a reaction? Oh. Why are you in red face? Huh? It's a, it's, a, it's a grapefruit one. Why are you wearing red face? It's a grapefruit one. Racism. She's wearing red face. She's making fun of my native it's pink. heritage. Pink, red, it's the same tone. Justin Trudeau, look at you. Hi. Oh. What meat? Your steak? Because that's gone. Can't you kill this fly while I'm streaming? You can't stick that little dog. He's not going to be able to get it. All right, hella crits. Congrats, you got some decent hits here. Charizard V-Star. Got a Goldies. Glade Full Art. A lot of Full Art action. Stuff for the Rando Binder. I like my binders random as heck. Hella crits. I'm building a random binder. I mean, it's not like super random, but it's random enough. Like whenever I open anything in any particular order, it goes in there. Hella crits. What's the new big hits in the mystery pool box now? Uh, we've still got the Pikachu Crown Zenith box. We've got a cube. We've got a cube. A Cubone CGC eight Coro Coro slab that's in there. Um, best kept secret. We've got the, uh, I think it's a 9.5 Japanese slab that's in there still. Can we see that? Well, I want you to imagine it. This is a Koro Koro Japanese, uh, comic promo. These are those glossy promos for that cube bone action. So that's in there somewhere. Uh, it's mixed in at random. It could be at the top. It could be at the bottom. It could be in one of the three slots that all the all of them are getting pulled from. Are we racing that? Nope. It's in the mystery packs. It's it's buried in there. 
Don't know, don't know its exact location. I didn't put an Apple Air tag on it. More pools. Forty for oh shit. Your boy's going hard on him. He might get it. He wants twelve hits. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. Hella crits is going hard or going home. Uh, let's double check the count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hits. Either hit or clean up the box for the rest. Uh, here we go, our first one. And we're gonna go with the Alolan Vulpix Shiny. Got that baby shiny Vulpix. Alright, we got a Oddish. Orsh. Orsh. And this boy's pulling all the bangers from, uh... From Temporal Versus. Alright, we got that Iron Crown EX. We got a Drowsy Unlimited base set. And we got that Absolutely Fabulous. Oh! We got the Mew EX from 151 as well. Throwing it down. <clears throat> All right, we've got a Cleavor on the front here. And we've got the King Gambit in the back. We got that Samurai Cockroach going in. Cleavor, we got a Sleevor to Cleavor. Here we go. Sandshrew. We got that Machamp V. We've got Kabu Tops Reverse from 151. And the Mag Mortar with that Electivire on the campfire. Those two are best of buds in the TCG. We just learned that today. I just learned that today. I was always wondering why those two were always seen together in cards. And now I'm just now barely figuring this out. We've got a Garchomp EX from, what's his Paradox Rift? We got an Ivysaur from 2007 on the front. Oof. We've got that Ninetales from Obsidian Flames. They fugging. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, sick Charmander. That's a sick-ass Charmander. 2007 Charmander. Not sure exactly the set name, of course, because I'm an idiot. I don't know everything yet. Still learning. And the Enamorous V. All right, we got a Talon Flame 2014. And we've got that Dust Ox from 2015. Make sure there's no other card back there. Ball Toy. And we've got that T Tar from Fusion Strike. So, as you can see, we get a huge collective of different sets from different eras. It's like opening uh, a booster box, a mixed booster box with guaranteed hits. Three-quarter arts are cool. Yeah, I like the, I like these, I like these cards. Like this. And then the hollow, like the dust ox. They're pretty cool. It's it's like they were downloading full arts and the internet got cut off. <laughs> Alright, hella crits. Went ham on them. Went ham on them. They didn't get that slab though. There's a few slabs in there, so. Um, hopefully someone gets one. Fill, 
filled in the rest with color. All right. Hella crits. Gonna throw that in your big bag as well. Hopefully I can pull a slab another time. Yeah, like I said, whenever I run into deals on slabs or Pokemon collections, um, they just go right in there. Like this last purchase that I bought, uh, I did the math on it. Um, what I paid for it is not what I'll get out of those... Um, out of those pools i lost probably about 40 dollars <laughs> in terms of price per card that i that i that i charge but i wanted to just i wanted to get that slab and i wanted to get a few of those cards that were in that collection that i bought so that they could be in here so not always do uh i necessarily try to go for the profit overall when i buy a collection i try to get some stuff in there uh just because i i feel like it goes good in there get half the box back best deals around get half my hits right back yeah i should have All right, cool. Congrats, uh, hella crits. Um, I think Charmander might be my next obsession. Charmander's dope, yes. I really want to open this 151 box in front of me. Do it. What kind of box is it? Zapdos? Do it. Do it. Also, guys, I'll still be streaming next week. Uh, well, all the rest of this week and next week. Uh, whenever I can morning night whenever I uh, they pushed back my start date to the 19th so I don't know um, rip that MC I would Horde, I've won three in a day. I think it's a sign. Charmanders are very, uh, very good cards. They got a lot of good Charmander artworks. Like there's Toys R Us. There's some Delta species. There's a couple, I think a couple different Delta species that are really good. Including a reverse hollow. What they call a reverse hollow back then. Like the ones that have the energy symbols, but the hollows actually in the image. But. They refer to them as a reverse. That's where the that's where they get shit confusing. Is like calling some things a reverse that are hollow within the image itself. What? What happened? She's outside. She needs to be out there. We don't need another massacre on the floor here. I got a PSA 10 XY Evolutions Charmander. The reverse hollow one? Fuck, man, I'm gonna get this fly. T 
To be honest with you, though, I want to try these. Sour and chewy candy. Toxic waste worms. Five delicious flavors. Let's crack this bad boy open. I'm holding off. I'm going to do it. Wait up. Bro. They gave up. They gave the expired ones, these motherfuckers. Best Buy 09. I can't even read the fucking date on here. Bro, these things. These things must have been mixed up with some Viagra powder because these are hard as fuck. And they're not worms, they're sperms. <laughs> these got the. Looks hard as a rock, it is. These things will chip your tooth. And I already got that issue. I don't need it. Bebe! They're giving you expired candies. I can't read the date. I think that says 2024, though. Unless it says 2014. Look, this says right here, sour and chewy candy, right? Tell me if that's chewy. Fucker. No. Oh. Damn, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Can you open one and try it though? Yeah, you try it. I'm gonna break my braces. But I can't open this. Give me it. Let me show you how it's done. With the scissors? Yup. You can't have the yellow ones. They're mine. I don't like yellow ones. I'll have the red one. Not even sour. God damn, these are rock. Well, not really. After you, um, I don't like it. Ugh, I don't like it. Toxic waste. You need to do better. These ain't sour. They're hard as fuck. No, they're not hard anymore. This is the, this is the beginning part. They have red 40. Oh my god. My ADHD is going to kick up really hard. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I can't have it. Yellow 5 and 6. I want blue. Blue 1. Blue 32. Nope. Back in the box. I'm puckering. Oh, look. Here's the sour meter. Never mind. What a bunch of assholes. You can't call it sour if it's not past the halfway mark. Fucking dickheads. I hate when they call something sour and it's not. Pathetic. Follow all of Professor Sour Noggin's creations. Fuck you. What else do we got here? Ooh, the filled Twizzlers, and these are soft. Low-fat snack, but they got red 40 for sure. Oh, I want to try those. Them and carrageenan. Carrageenan, how do they say it? What? I want to try those. I need a taste. I need a swig of this because I'm fucking shit stuck in my teeth. You want more? Is the temp you have sleeved or booster booster box? No. Okay. All right, corn syrup, sugar, enriched wheat, enriched wheat flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, which I think is um, is iron, right? It's just metal filings. It's iron filings. I won't be sending anything sour. Good. Uh, cause I can handle like pretty strong sour stuff. And if it's not sour enough, I'm going to get frustrated. Like you just saw, <laughs> like you just saw happen. These are disgusting. I'm not even going to try these mineral, I wanna, I wanna try those. mineral oil. I wanna try those mineral is, is there food grade mineral oil? Cause the mineral oil I know of is, uh, is if pretty, try it, I will try it. it's pretty lethal if you drink it or eat it or ingest it. it. 
Here you go. Open it though. Poison yourself. Go ahead. You want to be poisoned? Yeah. Enjoy it. Here you go. I love this place. All right, what's the next candy? Um, I'll take it back. Airheads Extremes, Rainbow Berry. What's in here? Peanut free. That's a relief. No, I'm okay. I don't want nobody putting their nuts in my airheads. What about the twin snakes? Um, they don't list their ingredients on here. Good. I'm scared. Extremes. But are they sour? Is that why they're called extremes? Assberry. Been playing that game for 13 years. Which game? I need to start making some Pokemon content soon. Minecraft videos are getting boring to me. These are more sour than the toxic waste ones. And it says nowhere on here sour. It says ex extremes, but that could be extreme anything. Ten. What does a pulse and an orgasm have in common? What is that? Let me let. What? What? What is it? It's Airheads Extreme. Just regular Airheads Extreme? Like regular, regular? Yeah. Well. Get out! You're gonna shit everywhere. Hey, but why don't you heat up your nachos? I am. But I want to eat food first. I'm hungry. These have zero trans fat. How do they extract the fat from trans people anyways? <laughs> I don't care if she has one. <laughs> Oh, we all know chocolate, especially this highly processed chocolate, has very high levels of heavy metals. Cadmium, lead. We've got Kinder chocolate. With creamy, milky filling. Who doesn't like some smooth and creamy, milky filling? Um, lecithin as a emulsifier. Vanillin, an artificial flavor. Sugar, skim milk. Butter oil. Lecithin as an emulsifier, again, twice. Vanillin, again. Why do they have the... Same ingredients on here twice. As if I w didn't read it the first time. Made in Germany. These are a little bit better than the American chocolates. If you're going to eat chocolate, Kinder's probably your best choice. But just make sure it's uh, an imported version. They might have one that's made here that's probably shittier. This isn't as bad because like the main ingredient is sugar, milk powder, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, and lecithin. And then an artificial vanilla, not bad, to be honest with you. What generation does your Forrest Gump belong to? Uh, grab from middle of the box, somewhere random, please. Uh, they're all mixed up. They're just kind of sitting here in a in an empty ETB. I mixed them. I shuffled all the packs, and they're just chilling here. I'm not eating that either. We do have some worms. Haribo snake twin. Twin snakes. Why are you not eating either? Maybe I will eat those. Which one? The Kinder. Ew, I hate Kinder. Kinder's got the least amount of bulls. What are you eating? My food. I'm starving. Oh, are you waiting for me to cook? I'm not eating. That's why I decided to eat it by myself. 
I ate already. Cause that's why I'm in the room so you, I can't. I had the, did you just see my video with the fried rice? I did. That's what I ate. I can't eat no more. I could do these little taste test things, but I can't really indulge in a full meal. Oh, these are individually wrapped. Well, son of a bitch. I thought I was going to have a whole chocolate bar to myself. Yo, Gladiator. I want some of what Ken is smoking. Nah. When I was a kid, I used to love white chocolate. Me too. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like, ugh. it's like too overwhelming on your mouth. Did you see the answer? Oh, Gen A. That took me a minute. <laughs> now I feel like Forrest Gump. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Jenny. Fuck. Thanks a lot, jerk off. There was a monster drink in there. The energy drink. I'm going to bring it to energy when I get mad. I had to leave it. Don't you bring that Satan spawn in here. I'll find him. I thought so. I'll wake him up. Speaking of flavoring, what in the hell was the first person who figured out beaver ass juice tastes like vanilla? Uh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, what? I know exactly how it happened. So picture a guy with like one of those wild thornberries hats. Um, like those kind of exploratory hats, safari hat, if you will. Picture a guy, he's trekking through the wilderness, right? Dude steps in some mud, slips, falls in the river, right? As he's fucking panicking because he don't know how to swim and he's wearing boots. And, you know, they're bogging him down. Wah, wah, he's, wah, he's going up and down the river, right? And a fucking beaver... Just fucking like, you know, like on a water slide kind of going down the river. His ass just goes right in his mouth. Ugh. And in a gasp for air, he sucks his ass. And he's like, that tastes like vanilla. So as he falls down the waterfall and wakes up on the freaking shoreline, um, <clears throat> he's like, I found a cheap source of vanilla. That, but is that true? Hold on, let me ask uh, Copilot, aka. Uh, Chat GPT four. <clears throat> is beaver ass juice used as a vanilla substitute? Flavoring. Yes, it's true that a substance called castorium, which is secreted from the castor sacs of beavers, has been used as a flavoring in foods. This secretion has a sweet smell and can add a vanilla or raspberry like scent. However, it's important to note that its use in food products today is extremely rare. The reason for this is that obtaining castorium is a labor-intensive process that involves milking the castor sacs of anesthetized beavers or removing the sacs from deceased animals. As a result, castorium is quite expensive and is not commonly found in food products. In fact, a chemist at Bryn Mawr College who studies the science of food has stated, there's no way it's in your ice cream. So, while it's technically true that beaver secretions have been used as a flavoring, you're unlikely to encounter this ingredient in your food. Most vanilla flavoring today is either made from real vanilla beans or synthesized in a lab. Only in Las Vegas is this still harvested. <laughs> Wow, 
What the fuck? <clears throat> He's sucking it right out of the beaver. It seems like you're referring to something specific about Las Vegas. Could you please provide more Could you stop listening to me? I was done talking to you. I'm here to help. <laughs> I'm here to help. No, so help. It said so help. It, that's what it got from you. Fucking thing. All right, Horde wants a pack to ease his urges, just like his urge to suck a beaver's ass for the sweet, savory scent and taste of vanilla and or raspberry somehow. How the fuck do you get vanilla and raspberry from a beaver's ass? Oh. How do you know it's white? Vanilla is a dark color. <laughs> they both like to keep one sock for themselves. <laughs> Who was the first person to figure that out and what were they on? Hold on. Let me ask this thing. So who was the first person to discover this beaver ass juice concoction? Madness. Catching a beaver and his shit in his face. The use of castorium, the substance secreted by beavers, has a long history. It has been used for more than 2,000 years. Initially, it was used mostly to cure ailments like headaches, earaches, toothaches, fevers, and gout. The Romans even burned castorium in lamps, believing the fumes caused abortions. However, the use of castorium as a food additive began in the early 20th century. It was used to add a vanilla raspberry flavor to some foods. But due to the labor-intensive process of obtaining castorium and its rarity, its use in food has significantly decreased. So, while it's not clear who exactly... Of course, the booty bandit Romans. The Romans were booty bandits anyways, and it, it obviously was not limited to other human beings... They were booty banditing fucking other animals, and that's how they discovered it. It's got to be the case. The Romans were notorious for butt fuckery. <laughs> how many different animal asses did they have to taste? They heard they needed to find the booty. <laughs> Some sick ass said, mm-hmm. <laughs> I like me some beaver action. Well, it's normal conversation. I can do this while I'm eating. <laughs> that tail looks warm. <laughs> uh, the Romans. 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years. But initially used to cure ail ailments like headaches, ear aches, toothaches, fevers, and gout. I made a thing. All right, here we go, horde. Also, if you pull, if you pull the the main hit, you're getting the freaking slab, bro. Just saying. These are things I think about when I'm bored. Uh, that's some good thinking, though. I like it. <clears throat> Here we go. Dramps. I'll take about any uh, IR, even. IR baboon. Incineroar EX. Man, we have not pulled this yet. <clears throat> we have not pulled Incineroar yet. And... And the texture on it is literally fire. 
Hey, that'll work too. My kid will love that dude. It's the fucking... It's the Timu version of Tony the Tiger. They're great. Uh, yeah, that's a sick flart. I usually don't like flarts like the turtle one. All right. Uh, this is Emma Lily. Poking fun. Pokey shadow. Horde. Uh, line is dope too, though. They hitting folks. Flart. Let them know. Paging Rena Flarter. How many are uh, in the booster box, roughly? Is it new? Uh, I think we've gotten about half. Let me see. Like this many? <laughs> Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 16 packs missing from this booster box. And no SIR. Oh, uh, fuck. Did we pull an SIR? Did you know that for every 30 to 50 overweight a man is, he loses about an inch of his visible penis? I'm about 30 pounds heavier than when I met Angel. Did I lose an inch? No. Did I gain an inch? Why did I throw my fight? <laughs> it might, I, I guess it's not true. Wait, did someone pull Walking Wake? Um, I'm driving. Yeah. How much did I lose? Or how much did I gain? In inches? I gained weight. No, you didn't. You were at, you were like one, what? Like 140 something? And now you're what, a buck thirty six, maybe less, on some days. I don't want more food. <laughs> Skinny tall white dudes be dangling. Genetics. I'm probably underweight. What excuse can I use? <laughs> Help us out. <laughs> Help us out with good excuses. Go lay down. I gotta have a word with this dog. I'll see you around, Pokey Horde. Uh, Pokey Dawn, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you, fam. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Uh, once you heard them once, you heard Jamal. <laughs> Extreme circumcision. What the fuck is that? The headless horseman? <laughs> Don't look at me with those eyes, fucker. <clears throat> Thank you, Marcella. Have a good night. Luna. Go with Daddy. Don't go over here. I don't want her face. nonsense. Look at her 
thing. Just give me the party thing. See? There's nothing to that. You're just looking too hard at her face. And then you start feeling sorry for her. No. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Maybe she needs some plain rice. I was in the bathroom shower and she was laying down right there in the shower. Or in the bathroom. She was right there laying down. Her thing was telling her. Basically, they clip less to allow room for growth when older. What do you call a swimming terrorist? Bath bomb. Did you say a bath bomb? You read it? I call it a greasy pool. Time to get out. <laughs> Subs, Ken. That was funny. <laughs> Considering how many horror stories I've heard about overclipping, they should probably do that for more circumcisions. Underclip? I was worried that one was too dark. There's no such thing as too dark here, bro. Listen. <clears throat> In the comedy realm, if you can't if you're not if you're not able to handle any joke when it comes to jokes and comedy, don't fucking be don't be uh don't be here. Don't be here and don't be don't be involved in any type of comedy whatsoever because your feelings are too close to the surface for that type of shit. <coughs> there was also one with a disease. Uh, my baby was hung more than some adults. Or this may be getting a little weird now. Is it pencil thin? <laughs> <clears throat> eh, nothing bothers me. Here at 10LV, we try not to be offended. And by try, I mean we just naturally don't give a fuck, okay? There's not really any try to it.
A guy suggested to his wife that she looked sexy with her hair back. Apparently that is a bit insensitive to say to someone during chemo. <laughs> With her hair back. Okay. Growing back. Better than telling her she looks sexy from the back. Show us what Sparse just shared. Inappropriate laughter. <clears throat> no more, right, Pepe? Huh? No, I don't They're want to. Them, right? Are you feeding her? No. At all? Nada? She's fasting. Again? She's bone. She has to fast. Whatever she's eating is not agreeing with her. <clears throat> I'm eating You're eating cereal? Yes, I'm hungry. You're going to eat a bowl of cereal after all that? Dang! Ah! What'd you drop? You spilled the drink? Did you spill it? A little bit. Fucker. Good thing it's water. I'm drinking the rest of it. That's fine. Just let me know. Which cereal? Probably, uh... Honey bunches of oats, or whatever that cereal is called. She always buys the one without almonds. It just doesn't taste as good with without almonds. I couldn't help but giggle at uh, at what? Not gonna lie, NGL. Waka waka waka. Either is still good. Nope. Especially if you add... F <clears throat> Look. This is a cereal hack. If you've got frozen blueberries in your freezer, add that to the uh, to the honey bunches of oats with almonds and like stir it up so that it gets the milk like ice cold. Ice fucking cold. And... Uh, once it mixes with that milk out of the fridge like that, the berries thaw enough to where when you're eating it, it's like not, it's not too frozen. Now we know why they call you handsome. <laughs> I've seen some people put ice in their cereal. Well, I see that's... To me, that's stupid. Because it's going to water down your milk. But then again, I'm a whole milk kind of person. Uh, I don't like that 2% bullshit. So, you know. I think a lot of people go for 2% milk. Like, they stay away from whole milk. I have to stay away from whole milk. <clears throat> and um, to me, that's weird. 2% <laughs> hmm? milk is disgusting. No, it's not. It's just water with huh? milk coloring. No, it's not. It's water with milk additive. It's gross. What milk are you using? Whole milk? Exactly. It's it's more rich. Because you don't let me 
Buy? It's got a higher flavor profile. That's because you don't let me buy the other stuff. It's got good fats, healthy fats. Oh, like fucking vitamin D, omegas. Who milks nuts? <clears throat> Blue at the lowest. Sparse. Now, why would you think nut milk is sus? <laughs> I don't mind my cereal warm because my grandma would give us warm milk with cereal. When I stay over and it just brings me good memory. Of course. Like, like there's always something weird that somebody gave you as a child and you learn to like it. And you'll always like it for the rest of your life just because of the the nostalgic feeling of eating it. Like soggy cereal. Like, I love soggy cereal. I like to let my cereal sit in the milk because it absorbs all that milk flavor. And then when you're eating it, like, the flavor is more mixed. And that's just how I was growing up. Because, one, now I want cereal, but I have none. <laughs> It's only 8.39 in Vegas, so you can go buy cereal around the clock, pretty much. Is that with almonds? Nope. Fuck. Disgusting. I have no almonds. It's the, the old one, the, the yellow box. <clears throat> but yeah, so growing up, I would eat, like, I wouldn't eat normal portions. I would eat it like probably four times the normal amount of food as other kids. And um, so I would eat like half a box of cereal at one time. And um, of course, in a large bowl with plenty of milk, your cereal gets soggy before you ever have a chance to finish it because there's so much. And once it started getting soggy and I started... I went from like the crunchy cereal with less milk flavor mixed in to the soggy cereal with more milk flavor mixed in that's where i learned to like the soggy cereal more than the crunchy cereal basically in the first half of the bowl uh what do you call a lesbian dinosaur uh lick a lot of puss when i was a kid i could eat a whole box of cereal in a sitting a biceratops <laughs> More pulls? <laughs> Hella crits. He's like, I want to get a damn slab. Daddy Ranch. <clears throat> All right, he's going for six more. I'm feeling my luck this time. All right, let's see if it's, let's see if you're feeling. All right, here we go. We've got six. Three, four, five, six. I double dog dare you. All right, here we go. We've got a fire energy. And we've got a Frostlass EX. All right, here we go. A Reverse Hollow Ivysaur. And a Victini EX. Come on. We've got a Japanese Hollow Vaporeon. And a Japanese Zoroark V Star. We've had a few of those in the last few days. Fix me's in the building. Here we go. We've got that Cleffa Art Rare from Obsidian Flames. Um, all right, we've got two more hits. Let's see. And we've got a Perserker V from Lost Oranges. Sick looking Cleffa. Ekans. 
And a... F Damn, you got two Frostlass. The Frostlass Shiny Full Art. And the Vintage Ekans. What'd you say? Huh? You don't like Meow? That's not a Meow, that's a Perserker. It looks just like the Meow, though. All right, there's the six. Uh, what is the best slide for kids? Leche? Si? Hmm? Si? Dame. There's some cereal in here. There's no freaking almonds. There's no almonds in my cereal. Her throat. <laughs> Meowth's burly cousin. No, it don't. ASMR cereal. <clears throat> when you go to the store... Buy that slightly more expensive whole grass-fed milk, even if it's pasteurized, because it's hard to find raw milk, of course. Sound off. <clears throat> pasteurized whole milk is usually what's sold in stores, but if you can find raw milk, even better. I always have to finish Angel's food. My body can't handle it. Hey, you've got a good collection of cards going, though. You didn't pull the slab, but definitely some decent cards coming. <clears throat> um, are you going to... Are you going to put these in a binder by the set? Or are you just going to slap all your cards in one binder together? Delicious. <clears throat> Until I get more of the sets filled out. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> Thinking about 
putting them in a binder one time and then having to reorganize them into different binders later on. <clears throat> Alice 10 has cured my cereal craving now. You're welcome. What did that cure? Check it out. I've got the mix binder <clears throat> right here. I got that Lugia. Got that Lugia. <clears throat> that Perserker you just pulled. I got one. Gene Sect. Squawk. Squawk out. <laughs> I kind of want to go stab something now, but I'm not craving cereal. Good job. Is <laughs> <laughs> that was Marcella? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Serious question. How should a noob organize their uh, their wins in a trade binder? Mm. I would organize them in the order that I receive them. <clears throat> or by whoever you get them from. So, like, I do have one binder that has stuff in it from people on YouTube that have sent me stuff. And... I kind of left a little bit of room in case I get more stuff from them. So like in between pages, like say I get like five cards from Pokeball and Mike. I do five cards on the first page with his signed energy. And then I skip like three pages. <clears throat> and then I put the next person in. <clears throat> Gardevoir, we got that baby shiny mimic you Japanese. I love that card. Espatra, Clodzire. Starting to learn all these Pokemon's names. Uh, is that Glimmit or Glimora? No, that's Glimmit, right? Is it Glimmit? Meowscarada. <laughs> <clears throat> that's a great idea. Um, Chiyu. Seru Ledge, some more Chiyu, love that Gengar, Iron Treads, Noivern, <clears throat> some more Gengar, we got the Pidgeot, Altaria, Finizen, Metagross, Chatot. We got that Kadabra baby shiny. One of my favorite baby shinies. I love Kadabra. <clears throat> Charge a bug. Litten. We got some Evo Skies in here. Like a Rock, Espeon, Ray Ray, Full Art, V. Scizor, another one of my favorite shinies. Garganackle, not one of my faves, but he's in there. Reggie Gigas. Scovillain, another one of my favorite pokies. Especially from the new uh the new gen stuff. <clears throat> uh because I used to grow a lot of pepper plants, so uh Pao, Roaring Moon. Love this Meryl. Slowpoke, I like the baby shiny Slowpoke. That Master Ball, I like the Master Ball more than any of the others. <clears throat> We've got a Staff card from Roaring Skies. Altaria, Staff card. Blastoise. I've got a uh, First Appearance Hoot Hoot. Tops card. 
Um, I've got another vending Japanese one with the upside down Pokeball. Machoke Me Daddy. Got the Umbreon from Celebrations. Got the XY Evolution Charizard, extremely off centered, so it's not getting graded. Uh, I've got the, what do they call that one? The, the GB promo or whatever. Charizard. Got the Japanese original Moonbreon. <clears throat> got the Squid Billy Gengar. I used to have this English first edition. Emma Lily, what's going on? Pokey Jack, what's crackalacking? <clears throat> While playing Pokemon Silver version recently, I encountered a, and caught a shiny Kadabra. Charizard always has such sick artworks. Yeah, this whole promo lineup right here from the uh, the UPC. <clears throat> I've got the uh, the promo Venusaur. I like these uh, baby shiny Charmeleon Charmander. I've got a reverse uh, Vulpix and a Do 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 Dodrio. Got this Charizard uh, sticker. Got some newer stuff in here. But this is how mixed up my binder is. <clears throat> and this awesome Charizard binder. One of the dopest binders to ever come out. I love that Eevee promo. Yeah, that Eevee's dope as fuck. I pulled that Prime Catcher yesterday. That's the best Ace Spec card in the set. That Alolan Persian is dope. Uh, what is the last thing to do at a funeral? <laughs> the corpse. <laughs> also, I've got 19 SV uh, base set packs for $55 on a special deal. 19 packs, 55 bucks. I'm going to open some of these ones, see if I can pull anything. I want to open one. Hmm. What? Do you? Magneton, Annihilate, and Floet. All right, which one? Luna. Luna. Okay, get it. Come here, Luna. Which one? Take it mama. to mama. Take it to mama. Here. <laughs> she walked off with it. I swear to God, if you get a hit, watch your watch your mouth. She's gonna headbutt you again. Nerd raid! We getting raided? Oh my goodness. Pokey Lane. Welcome in. Nerd raid! We got a nerd raid. I think it's a WOTC promo. No, you a pack. Oh, you got a shitty pack. Breaking news! We're getting a nerd raid here at 10LV Studios. We're reporting live. It looks like some heavy, heavy rain Give this to Daddy. from a nerd raid. Give this to Daddy. Go get it to Daddy. We might be flooded. Go. What's going on? Give it to Daddy. Nerd Realm, appreciate you Daddy. stopping no, by. Up. Give it to Daddy. <laughs> Did she leave? She took it. <laughs> Yo, appreciate you guys for the raid. Pretty Thank colored. you guys so much. Luna. Give it to Daddy. Come here, Luna. 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 Come, come on. Give it to Daddy. Come here, Luna. Come here. <laughs> you just dropped them all? Yes, you did. Damn dog. <laughs> Look, she got one. <laughs> Luna. What do you get Daddy. when you cross 
a Jewish person. <laughs> Christianity. I'm not sure I'm trying to look back. The one with the tricolors behind it. All right, here we go. Tricolored EV promo. It's the one where the EVs. Yo, Av, what's going on? The EV's evolving into a Flareon in the card itself. That promo. The promo that you have. The WOTC promo. Old school. Come on. Damn. We're getting annihilated. What's up? Fix me. Can I see it? Angel. Well, I have one. I'll show it to her right, right now. <clears throat> it's the Eevee promo. With the rainbow background. Damn. Chillaxin family lamb. All right, let's go back to the EV promo. Where is it? Was it back here? This one. Oh, that one. It's stepping into the fire. So the tricolor of the card is water, electric, and fire. And EV's walking into the fireside and evolving into a Flareon. So it's basically this card is like depicting a choice that Evie's making. Which I think actually kind of runs with one of the episodes, right? One of the original episodes. Wasn't there an episode where Evie had to was having trouble choosing to evolve or not? Which set? It's a it's a it's a promo card from Wizards of the Coast. It's not from any set specifically, just a promo. <clears throat> I thought so, then looked like a like Flareon. Promo 11. Oh, geez, get live, Horde. Oh, jeez. What do you say to a non-binary friend when they are misgendered? They're there. <laughs> Get the duck out my house. <clears throat> there, there, there. We got any, uh, let's see. Nope. Wait. Refer a friend. $30 credit. No. Just kidding, I said. <laughs> Just kidding. I support all two of them. I'm somewhat of a progressive. Careful. <laughs> Push it to the limit. 
Walk along the razor's edge. Urgent warning issued after a 60-foot crack found in dam. Oh, damn. Chat GPT is down, and users are getting this weird message. I just used it. Oh, seven hours ago. What's driving the youth mental health crisis? Oh, I don't know. Coddling. Uh, letting them just do whatever the fuck they want. That could be part of the problem. Normalizing it. Most popular candy you can actually eat a ton of. No. No. Researchers speculate that airborne particles of magnetite, iron, and diesel hydrocarbons could cause Alzheimer's disease. Let's see, what else is good on the news here? Oh yeah, this this weekend is UFC 300, isn't it? Inked penguin raid. Inked raid. Inked here to raid our panties. Panty raid. Pokemon TCG. Welcome in. Breaking news. We've got an inked raid. Holy shit. There's an earthquake. Ooh. An earthquake. Or I'm just choking the camera. I don't know. Breaking news. <laughs> we got a panty raid. Shiver me timbers. Nothing excites 10 other than tall men. Bars. Spit facts. Dr. Seuss claims. Spitting facts like an out of like out of control office hardware. Um, share it into the Discord at Kyle Stream if you want to watch the fights. Uh, I'm watching the fights for free on Stream East. What is the hardest part about a, about cooking a vegetable? Uh, getting the wheelchair into the oven. 
uh it's an inked moist panties raid inked penguin appreciate you fam hey tan hope the stream is going well uh yeah we're just spitting some offensive jokes uh we're trying to see who gets offended the most Panties were put away wet. I got it. I did some patching for Stream East back in the start. In the inception. I was doing some uh, some self research about homelessness across the U.S. per state, per capita, all that type of shit, right? Overall, California has about 181,000 homeless people, the highest per capita in the nation, five times over from the second highest. That's fucking insane. Have you heard the new Popeye's four-piece combo with sauce? That's because it has the highest cost of living. Well, that's fucking ridiculous. And people are okay with that shit. That's what I don't get about some some the way some people think about how they let the government... Like flip the script and make you like a working slave for them your government's supposed to be working for you i'd rather be homeless in cali than in minnesota i don't know man there's a lot of crazy fights i've seen in california with the homeless people like it's not it's not just about being homeless it's about like the dangers of a certain type of mentalities of some of these homeless people also realtors well, aren't they about to end their little uh, six percent six permit percent commissions? Uh, poop lining the sidewalk. Yeah, then there's like that plague type shit that's starting to happen. Even State Farm is getting out of Cali. Yeah, insurance companies are leaving California. Um, there's all kinds of weird shit going on, so California is going to get worse. It's, it's not going to get better anytime soon. But uh, at, like I was saying, like we've let the government basically turn us into their workers when they should be working for us which is fucked up if any state or even federal government or anything above that is failing its people they should be held accountable if they're not enacting plans to keep uh, homelessness down, poverty down, then they're failing their job, what they were elected to do. And they should be held accountable to some degree. And I'm not just talking about 10 to 10 to January 6th. Maybe. Maybe. I will trade chickens for pokies. Are they cooked? I was there. Catch Mike Pence. <clears throat> I 
I'll take one rotisserie chicken, please. Live or dead chickens? Well, they're live when I box them up. If they arrive dead, that's on you. I can cook half of them. Do you want the left side or the right side cooked? Same in a bunch of other places. Pence is legit, though. Right, can't take estates abbreviations. I get a little annoyed with Los Angeles. 10 LV for president. I told you I'm running not this season, but the next one. I could run this time. I could. I'm running for, fuck it. I'm running for president. Let me find out how I can apply for presidency 100% free with no money. How do I apply to be president in every single state to run for president on the ballot? Gotta be like 45 plus. Nah, 30, 35. To run for the office of the President of the United States, you need to meet certain constitutional requirements and follow a series of steps. Meet the constitutional requirements. According to the U.S. Constitution, a presidential candidate must be a natural-born citizen of the United States, be at least 35 years old, have been a resident of the United States for 14 years, declare candidacy. Anyone who meets these requirements can declare their candidacy for president. Register with the Federal Election Commission, FEC, once a candidate raises or spends more than $5,000 for their campaign, they must register with the FEC. This includes naming a principal campaign committee to raise and spend campaign funds. Get on the ballot. Generally speaking, an independent presidential candidate must petition for placement on the general election ballot in all 50 states as well as Washington, D.C. Some states may allow an independent candidate to pay a filing fee instead of submitting a petition. You must contact each state's secretary of state for the forms needed to be listed. Remember, running for president is a significant commitment and requires a substantial amount of planning, resources, and support. Good luck. It didn't require that much for George Washington. What the fuck? It used to be free. Now I got to pay filing fees in every single state. All right, folks. Um, I'm going to need all of you to fund my campaign. I need to start first with five G's for the FEC. And then we'll move from there. Yeah, but... <laughs> Be a 70 year old. Some people get hella freaky in their cars. What are you watching, Marcella? Oh, I bet. I've done a lot on the road. I wasn't trucking like you, but I was moving stuff. Marcel has been perving. Angel has to apply. People love a colored woman nowadays.
Are you gonna run for president, colored woman? Colored woman? Black. She, Kamala had no expertise. He's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Yeah, Kamala Harris did it. She's claiming to be black and Indian. You could do the same thing. Can I help you? Yeah. Whoa. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> Jack is in the building Man my boy and I picked up These two strays at the Smallest bathroom besides a porta potty I've ever had action in No shame here They both rode bikes together <laughs> How does dementia have coattails? How the fuck does dementia win? I don't understand. Breaking news! People thought it was a GoFundMe. <laughs> Joe Biden was running for hospice and they put him in office. <laughs> it's just a big misunderstanding, folks. <laughs> uh, bar. I thought it meant <laughs> not the White House. Simple mistake. <laughs> Handicap porta potty's got room. <laughs> Don't you still have to like step into a handicapped porta potty just like you would like a normal one? Or is there are they lower? I feel, I feel like there's still some obstacles to overcome when trying to wheel yourself into a handicapped porta potty, but it's flat. The White House is basically a retirement home. I know, right? No fun times in a porta potty. Porta potties fucking stink. Yes, you have to wear the nostril guards. Then you get a snack and crayon time. And some cribbage? Do we get to play cribbage? <laughs> Can you water down my pudding? I'm sick of choking on it. I don't even have a sense of smell, but hell no. You don't have a sense of smell? What the fuck? You had a bad reaction to antibiotics? Wait, y'all never got got it in a porta potty at a work location while your buddy's truck was unloaded? No. Absolutely not. You don't look at a porta potty in Vegas like there's something fun to be had in there. Not in this temperature and not if you've worked in the construction industry. I was born without one. Oh. We'll find you one, Emma Lily. There's got to be a used sense of smell out there somewhere. I've been on the moon. She was that big, huh? <laughs> Had to crawl up there like an anthill. <laughs> like a Texas anthill.
like two armadillos fighting over a clam. It's called congenital anosmia. Anosmia. Nos, nose. Nose. I would little, literally do it in front of all my coworkers before doing it in a porta potty. Germs. <clears throat> we didn't have enough room in the extended bed for two people. Future goal. Find Emma Lily at card party or something and rip the ultimate silent stinker fart. And see if she notices. <laughs> Wait, without a sense of smell, how do you taste? Isn't that all tied together? I don't know. You taste the smells. Grab one of those spray farts. Somewhat, but taste buds still work. Eat fart. <laughs> you can just kind of take what you also smell. What, what to f taste what you also smell. Your situation is giving me anxiety. I'm trying to, I'm trying to imagine this shit, and it's making me not. It's it's giving me anxiety. I could not imagine. I don't know, can't smell, but I have some sense of taste. Thirty-six inch pizza. I can finish a thirty-six inch pizza by myself. Come on. I'm bigger than I've ever been. I'll tear that shit up. Fucker. I just don't want to. Don't. Wait till I lose weight. Fuck. She's trying to keep me fat. She's trying to keep me big over here, y'all. <laughs> Fuck. What? Every time. She's like, hey, you think we could eat all this? The fuck? What? Well, Fucker. What? Good for you. That's because when we eat together, I eat the most more than you. You can't keep up with me. Fucker. All right, one last eating challenge before I lose weight. You're gonna eat a 36 inch pizza. The big pizza from Napoli's right down the street. Si. Go get it. Right now I'm full. I can have cereal in my menu. Um, wait, tomorrow? No. Sunday. Whenever I come back. Y'all, yeah, but I gotta lose, I gotta lose weight so I can fit in my fucking uniform that I ordered. No, or a large, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let me stretch it out at least. I have never smelled any. That's fu that's terrible. All right, so all right, let's do a, let's do a poll. Would you rather be colorblind or not smell anything? <clears throat> not smell this cannot apply to you Emma Lily you've already lived your whole life like this <laughs> uh, smell should I not send goodies if you're trying to lose weight Angel's Angel's gonna eat them. I can try them, but I'm not gonna. Pro I'm probably not eat the whole thing. That's what he said with the other stuff that you brought, you sent, and he ate Shh. it all by himself. Shh. He said that, but he lied. Yeah. <laughs> Typical relationship. Angel can't have them either. <laughs> hey. Colorblind. Oh damn, we're like, we're damn near tied. 
It's called cheat days. Use them. I feel like it has to be worse knowing what it was like to smell and losing than never knowing. That's so poetic. You want this half? No. Are they good or no? I don't want some. No, Luna can have some. Give me a red one. I got you the twin. Open your mouth. Stop. I missed. That'll be $12. I don't just ruin your appetite for free, you know. Jenny Craig ain't free. Reacher, I always want. <laughs> Rancher. <laughs> Reacher's a perfect nickname. <laughs> when he's, when he doubles as a gynecologist, they call him Reacher. <laughs> Pokemon Reacher. <laughs> Once I heard not to trust a guy named Reacher. <laughs> Daddy Reacher. <laughs> Reach around. <clears throat> the technique. Reaching around town. <laughs> the, <laughs> the forbidden sp <laughs> SpongeBob episode. Here comes Daddy Reach again. <laughs> it's always it's always Pokey Jack with the fucking misspellings that makes something great happen. <laughs> like pity it. <laughs> Reacher. <laughs> Smelly tables. So wait, how would smelling salts work? Emma Lily, you have to try some smelling salts. <clears throat> smelling salts are ammonia, I believe, yes. Very, very concentrated ammonia. They had a they had they had some when I first started working at Caesar's Palace, they had some in the first aid kit in one of our lockups. And I was up there by myself. And I was like going through the lockup because I was new and I was like just like looking around everywhere to see where if there was anything hidden or anything like that in the, in the room. And I opened the fucking first aid kit and there's a smelling salt. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I've seen these on um, like TV and shit and movies of them using like smelling salts. And I'm like, it can't be that strong. 
Oh, fuck. I cracked that thing. Oh, my God. I almost fell on the fucking ground, dude. Haunter! Thank you. <laughs> oh, that shit hit me so fucking hard. My eyes watered. Oh. But that kicked you straight in the ass. <laughs> oh. Ugh. It's so strong, especially when you crack it right under your nose. Because, like, it was like an old ass one, and you just snapped the thing. And, um, I've smelled bleach before. <clears throat> yeah, Angel's allergic to Clorox bleach. Thought my face melted. I thought my insides were dying. <laughs> Ten, can you show Marcelo my short, please? I had methadone needles in my whole face. <laughs> <coughs> Breaking news. That's the way my brain works. How's everyone? I'm laid up in bed. What'd you do? Fall down? Hurt your back? Are you sick? I'm also allergic to bleach. And you work at a bar? Uh, Jack's allergic to bleach. Oh my god, you and Angel could be bleach bitches! Oh my god, girl, like I choked to death too. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're not dying right now. <laughs> not right now. It's not funny when you're when when you actually bleach bitches, let's die together. <laughs> Bro, any hint of, like, fumes from bleach and she's done. I drank bleach once. Think I was allergic to... Bro, did we live the same life or what? Dude, I was so fucking high at one of my cousin's, cousin's houses. Like, on his mom's side of the family, I think. It wasn't somebody related to me. But, you know, they were like those trashy, like, trailer park type people. And uh, they didn't have, like, no nothing in the fridge. No bottled water anywhere. Uh, the tap water like wasn't even working but they had like what I thought was a bottle of water right next to the sink like a, a gallon jug bro I fucking I didn't even think about it dude I was so fucking thirsty I hadn't had like a drink in like 10 hours I was fucking dead and I was high so I was like fuck it and it was like oh dude I took like two big ass chugs and I swallowed it before I realized and I was like oh I was like, Ugh. and then I started inducing vomiting and shit. I was like, put my fingers in my throat. <laughs> I was trying to throw up. I was like, this is fucking bleach water. <laughs> I was like, these motherfucking crackheads. Uh-uh. Oh. Horde, my crackhead sister drank bleach once. Someone told her it would clean her urine before. Oh, my God. At least it was diluted. Yeah, that's probably why I'm not dead. <laughs> Fuck. That's when I was like, you know what? I'm I'm never going back to anybody else's house. That's I think, like, stupid shit like that kind of made me, like, more introverted like in the middle of my childhood like i was already an introvert anyways but it made it worse because of just bad experiences at other people's houses and i'm just like i can't trust nothing i gotta go back home i'm just gonna play video games in my house where i know there's fucking drinkable water and edible food and things like that i, I don't need to go out i just stay home and be a fucking nerd <clears throat> Look up xylene. Huh? 
Hilarious now, knowing I was totally fine. Luckily, she didn't drink too much before she started barfing. I love staying home and being a nerd. Yeah, it's the safest way to navigate life. When you feel like you could have died doing something such as simple as drinking water, it makes you want to stay home. It's a super heavy duty stripping agent. How many agents do you know that are strippers? And like, how big was she? We talk a federal agent or like local police station. <laughs> Don't lie, Jack. You get bored. I kind of want to go live tonight, but I'm going to tomorrow. Both. Agent Stripper. <laughs> Get the smelling salts. <coughs> Have you ever tried smelling salts? We got to get some smelling salts for Angel to try on camera. I want to see an agent stripper. Secret agent ma'am. It's ma'am! <laughs> I would if fucking Walmart was still 24 hours, the fuckers. Bro, dude, here, here in Vegas, like the stores are closing even earlier. Like just last week, I noticed that all the stores closed at 7 in this little shopping center. I'm like, what the fuck is this? These stores all used to be open till like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Every single one of them now closes at 7. I was like, is this like a fucking group effort here? What are they doing? Like, this is Vegas. You're supposed to be open at least till fucking 11 or midnight. Like, that's not even a good business, like, standpoint. Because most people work a 9 to 5. So what do you think is going to happen when you close at 7 and it takes somebody an hour to get home? It's 6 o'clock. And they're going to go out and find out that your store is closed at 7 by the time they get there? They're going to be pissed. Most people do their shopping after work. And it's usually after 5 o'clock p.m. And you're closing at 7. And they still got to drive home. Still got to go fucking change clothes or whatever. I miss going to Walmart at 1 a.m. For real. It used to be so fun to just go up in there. <clears throat> and like, there's only like three people in the whole store. And you're just like wandering around half asleep. With your PJs on. Two different colored socks that you pulled out of the laundry basket. Yeah, bro, I miss it. Fuck you, COVID. Why did COVID ruin everything? Like, why did COVID just... Why did COVID just make every business say, you know what's a good idea? Let's just stop being open all the time. <clears throat> or let's just go out of business all together. <clears throat> you know what it is? They're trying to get us on a curfew. Alex Jones has been talking about this type of shit, too. I'm just saying. Alex Jones been on this shit. Talking about curfews and shit like that. Like you is going to get to the point where you can't even go outside after a certain time. That's why they that's why they're proposing a shorter work weeks and you know all these different schedules and shit like that. They're trying to make shit mandatory. That way they could that way, after 7 o'clock, you ain't allowed outside. They could be out there flying their UFOs around and shit, doing secret testing. People don't call him crazy after proving Bohemian Grove. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. They've been doing curfews since the beginning when television came out. They used to have a certain time they play the national anthem in the TVs would go out.
do you guys feel like there's gonna be any type of uprising against the government anytime soon or do they have enough people brainwashed into being on their side in the civilian world January 6th that, well I mean yeah so like so many people were against that and like that wasn't even bad like that wasn't even like a hardcore thing that happened Like there's been, there's been like, there's been like home firework accidents on the 4th of July worse than January 6th. Uh, I think they are too good at propaganda. Yeah. I mean, I hope so, but a lot of people are brainwashed. Give it 20 more years. It will get better. Well, look how long it took El Salvador to get fucking going against their gangs and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how long it's going to take us to realize that we're headed in the wrong direction. <laughs> Before we can't even walk the streets because gangs own everything and the government's just hiding in fear, still collecting everybody's money. <clears throat> um, I just don't feel most people in the U.S. truly understand what suppression is. I believe most of us do not study. I feel like a majority of the people here at this stream that watch me at least understand the like deep, deeper shit, like not the surface shit that they pit us all against each other for, like gender fucking sexuality all that type of shit that they make us hate each other for damn you on late bro um i feel like a lot of the people here kind of see beyond that type of bullshit and see kind of what's going on spiritual real shit what's actually going on that's why i like you guys that's why i haven't thrown none of y'all out yet <laughs> oh yeah i'm way beyond all that shit uh, muck the full lease. <laughs> uh. Hey, what Pokemon is number 12, by the way? <laughs> What's Pokemon number 12? Let me get out my Pokedex. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's way up there. That's why I love... Uh, oh, yeah, I got the internet right in front of my face. Weedle. Shit. Butterfree? Let's see. Pokedex. Number 12. Number 12. Butterfree. Shit, we don't fuck with 12. And Butterfree is off the list. Damn. <clears throat> I think Horde's right. Butterfree, I checked Pokemon Go. <laughs> Buttercream me. Hell, I wasn't far off. It's a bug. Damn, fuck Butterfree. Set butter free. He didn't do nothing. Scooby Doo. I don't know some creature. <laughs> hey, Weedle is thirteen. Good guess, I'd say. You're close. You're close. It was Russ, though. Russ was correct. Nathan, can I get two Fusion Strike? Let's celebrate their third super on a live stream. Holy smokies. Two Fusion Strikes. All right, Nathan. Breaking news. We've just got an order in for two Confusion Strikes. Welcome in.
<clears throat> and you know the world's going bad when when all the governments try to think on a global level with each other at the same time that they're fighting with each other you know there's an issue when we start to pit when they start to pick sides but they have global agenda it's weird didn't know they were sleeved i did once put a pack back and that had the iono screw the european union I'm so, I'm so fine with that, by the way. All right. If not, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, come on. Bangers, daddy, bangers. Come on, Vulpix. Chensi. Zigzagoon. Uh-oh. Do we got a banger, folks? Vika Volt and Serena V. Oh, shit. Sorry, Ben Cleaning. I forgot to do you a... Um, your energy guess, bro. Sorry, Ben Cleaning, so not talking much. Um, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm going to guess electric next. Why the fuck did that go down there like that? All right. Let's go electricals. Catter P pants. <clears throat> Evie, Shelter, Scrotum, Rotom, and a scented scorch with the metal energy. All right, Nathan, let me keep the Eevee. Huh? Yeah, what? 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 Are you watching the short that I made again? No. Oh. Then what? Yeah. Why? Huh? Why? What's your reason? <clears throat> uh, fix me. Thank you for the gift of membership. Daddy Ranch. Fix me. Gifted a membership. Daddy Ranch. Daddy Reach. <laughs> the gynecologist. I no longer spell, sell waifus unless it's special orders. <clears throat> I'll give you a card out of the Marsuela bag. And it's a fusion strike pool for the missed energy guess. Um... So there you go, Nathan. What is your uh, 69th favorite Pokemon? Fuck. Now I got to build a list of 68 favorite Pokemon. Which is going to take me some time. 
Huh? Fuck her. Trouble. You are trouble. What was I doing? Fix me. Throw him a card from my bag, too. Not allowed. Gato. Where the fuck is your bag, bro? Chris Salsa, Aki, Aki, Alice, Avarice, B-Pop, Henri, Derek, Ali GX, <clears throat> Carolina Perez, Billy, Billy Hall, Dizzy, Gleechy, Bandit's Hideout, Darker Gamer, DJ Snipe. It's obviously not in here. Schnorbart. Did I bag you up? What the fuck's going on here? <clears throat> Feller, Limpy, Lowry, Snail Trail, OCJ, GSP. me good night marcella all right i'm nodding off like an 80 year old in a recliner night y'all good night all right what do you want to throw him <clears throat> we got golden ghost a titan a bunch of reverse hollows golden girls got that reverse Got that vintage, got that vintage, got that Charmander, that Pidgey, the Squirtle. Got that Lapras. <clears throat> got that more pickle. Got the Ducklet. Clodzire Jinx. Moltres. Weezing. Shadowless Pidgey. Tapu Coco, Empoleon, throw him the more Peko. More Pecker. More Pecker and the Ducklet. And the Ducklet. Jeez Louise. Hope you're subscribed to Fix Me. He's hooking it up. And the Limpoleon. Tuffly wig. Lichen rock. Fix is the goat. Bye. Read up to my comment before last, please. All right. Ten, read my last comment, please. And Ten LV, you missed my question earlier. Did you hear about the latest challenge for younger people trying to write their name without lifting the pen from paper? Isn't that called cursive? <laughs> don't, don't they call that cursive?
Two more fusion and I guess psychic <clears throat> and dark. All right, psychic and dark. You would think. I mean, I guess if kids these days have never learned to cursive, <clears throat> it's a difficult challenge, but for somebody who had to learn cursive until their hand cramped in the fucking second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, uh, that's, a, that's a simple task. All right, we're going psychic and then dark. Here we go, psychic. Leafy. All right, darkness energy on the secondary. Nine more, I think. Someone unsub. <laughs> so, like, D doesn't connect. All right, here we go. Sand Shrew. Q fan. Impidimp. Snommy Nommy Nom. Onyx. Chili, Salan, and Crest. We got a Melmetal, Hollow, Dark. Oh. Psychic. Psychic on the Darkness Pack. That's the way it goes. Clawitzer. Alright. Fix me. Let me put you back. Rough packs. Fusion strikes. Uh, you fuse, you lose. That's uh, that's what Lowry says. That's been his mantra ever since Fusion Strike came out on this channel. The cheapest torture on YouTube, we used to call it, back when Fusion Strike first came out, of course. <clears throat> um, I was able to sell packs for like two bucks each. Because I was getting the booster boxes so cheap, and now look at what they're at now. A booster box is coming close to $250 for Fusion Strike now. So, um, I wish I would have kept a lot of sealed packs, but, you know, <clears throat> I like ripping so much that just didn't happen that way. <laughs> I wish calligraphy was taught more in school than cursive. Not a lot of cursive words start off diverted from the original text at the start of a sentence. I mean, when I used to like sign in at work, I would do my name without lifting the pen. <clears throat> I can do all that too. What? What? Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> like what kind? Huh? Hey, Lugia. Man, 
Man, I'm unsatisfied. Four more. Let's celebrate their fifth super on a live stream. Uh, I'm going to guess electric fire steel fighting. All right, here we go. I'm guessing water, 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 water. Electric for the first one. <laughs> Angel's dying over here. The little flower needs attention. <laughs> she needs water we got a Gengar V I'm gonna guess electric and that's what it is so there's your freebie right there so we got one freebie off to the side right here um ooh All right, here we go. Fire. Let's go fire for another pack. Come on, let's see. Could this be the best guess since Dan Wiseman? <laughs> Dan Wiseman did like 20-some packs, didn't guess a single fucking one, right? <laughs> Oh, we were looking for a fire on that one. Now we're going to hope for a freaking steely, steel, steel energies. Chill one good. <laughs> Chilling one guess is good enough. Next one will be fire. All right, here we go. Let's go for steel. That's what we're hoping for. And we're hoping for alt art. Clay doll. Neither. It's a leafy boy. All right, we got one mo. One mo in this whole mess. Oof. BRB. All right, let's go fist bump energy. Come on, fist bump for a secondary pack. Come on, Swadloon and our rare, a Landorus Hollow with a fighting fire energy. Dang. All right, you guessing on this one. What's your energy guess for the free pack? <sighs> uh, fighting. It's going fighting again. All right, here we go. All right, Gliss Core. Damn, rough is fudge. Fucking metal. I got crap. <laughs> <laughs> rough ass packs, one hit out of five. We love to see Eevee come out though. Two hits out of nine. It's a tough set. Used to be the cheapest torture on YouTube. Now it's one of the most expensive forms of torture you could get your hands on. 
Gengar is cool. Such a rough, 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 rough run. You leaving? Then why now? Hey! <laughs> You're out of control. I'm about to buy more, I swear. Let's run this Charmander. Four more dark water steel grass. Dark water steel grass. Let's go. Today's a fun day, I guess. Let's run this Charmander. Should be a hit in the last 16 packs somewhere. Huh? Darkness, the Darkness Monster, Pancham, Darumaka, Indeedy, Dee 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 Dee, Azumaro, Metal. Fudge Brownies. All right, come on. Water. Give us the moist. Have fun at Girls' Night, Angel. Ten siphoning my money. Come on. Latios. What? Nope. No water. Damn. Come on. Limpster is in the building. Okay, come on. Let's go. Really, Rancher? How much are... Or are they sealed? I have Detective Pikachu packs. Come on. Damn, dude. Fucking water on the third. All right, we need a grass on the last. This, this is sucking. Two hits. And how many packs now? Fuck. Another lander is hollow. We're looking for a grass fire energy. Rancher has an amazing collection. Most of it's underwater. Crying. Should have went with mysteries. <laughs> you at least had something with mysteries. Fusion strikeout. Yes, it, that's what, that's another nickname for it. That is true. It is underwater. You got any funny One Piece cards on the side? Um. I've got these. Hold on, let me see. I've got all these hollows right here. Hey, 
you, if you want some more. Do you have any Dragon Ball packs? Nah, Dragon Ball hype died early on. I have a single pack, of course, that I'm keeping. Sealed collection status. Can I get some waifus? I don't know if I have any more waifus. I think I gave you all of them. On the first run. Yeah, I think I gave you all the boobies. I mean, does that count as a waifu? Do you have any waifus I want to buy... Some so bad. <laughs> I'm your first like. That's a big bit. There's some ugly ass. There's some ugly ass characters in in One Piece. I took all the boobies from you. All the boobies. I think that's all I have. Uh... The only other cards I have are these. I don't know if you're into uh... Tragic the Gathering or whatever the fuck this is. It's buoys. Dire Wolf Prowler. I need to find someone to buy waifus from. I was trying to get more One Piece stuff. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me message my guy and see if he could get me some of these like White Schwartz waifu sets and shit, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what they can get their hands on. Fix has some. How many fusion strikes you got left? Uh, what did you just order? This is my last supply right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have seventeen packs left. I can get full. I can show you examples if you like. I'm legit about to dive. <laughs> Do you you like Fusion Strike? I mean, I guess it is. This is the latest set to start freaking spiking in value, so it's gonna start getting more and more desirable. As time goes on. Gengar VMAX sitting at 269. 148 for the Espeon. The Mew VMAX is $71 for the alternate art Mew VMAX. 
the Mew V alt art is getting to 30. Same with the Mew V Max Rainbow Rare. Celebi V is at 24. Inteleon at 20. me do you sell packs uh, will you get more fusion strike when it's sold out 10 probably not because <clears throat> after this point it's at retail price um, these ones I got from PSA Pikachu on an off chance that he was he was offered a case of these by his distributor and he offered it to me so I bought it um actually a while ago when i lived in my old place uh yeah bro you can sell packs here in my chat i don't give a shit i think i want to get some packs for now maybe after i get more into them i will want those <clears throat> back but they don't have they won't have nude cards nudies they cannot legally sell nude cards in packs Playboy sells nude cards. Uh, I'm officially a hundred in one, two, three, six, seven, eight packs, eight more packs at steel, grass, electric, fighting, psychic, psychic, steel, fire. All right. We're going to go steel. You're about to hit. You're about to hit. Watch it be on the. Nope, not on the first pack. All right, we've got a medal on the first one, so he's getting another freebie. Let me put these over here. That, that way they don't get mixed up with what uh what all's available. Wait up. This was the original stack here. This is the other stack. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So this is your freebie. This is your stack. I already almost got them mixed up. Good thing they're one had more than the other. All right, let's go grass. Oh, this man Canadian. Many, many Canadian. All right, here we go.
Azumaro. Damn, he's got two in a row on the guesses. Two freebies. Coming in. All right, electric. What's the chase? Gengar. Here we go. I think we got a hit. I don't know what it is. Rainbow. Full art trainer. And we've got a dancer. Not electric. We got a water. Still no hits, though. Insane. All right, we got Dancer Full Art. Gengar VMAX Alt be the best, I think. Corviknight. We want a water. Or no. We wanted electric. We're looking for fighting, which is not it. Then we're going to go psychic and psychic for two packs in a row. I want Espeon. All right, here we go. Oops. <laughs> All right, dupe, spider, and Latias. Fist bump energy. We were looking for a psychic. All right, let's get a psychic in this one. We've got two freebies, though. We've got two freebies going on. Another psychic, and then the steel and a fire. One more psychic, steel, and then fire. Oh, man. Oh, man. What do we got? A V? Inteleon V. Not a psychic. Come on. Steel fire. That's right. Come on, let's go steal. And I don't mean looting a business let's go steal rookie galarian darumaka sizzlipede snorlax vika volt freaking psychic on the wrong spot bungee gloves i'm sweating Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting. Here we go. Last pack magic. And then you can guess the other two energies. Hopefully on your freebies. Uh, what was this energy we're looking for? Fire. We're looking for a fire. Palish. And a metal energy. No fire. Damn. All right. You got two more packs. Guess your energies. Here you go. Right here. Two packs right here. Fire and water. All right. Fire it is. Fire away. Fire away. fire here we go golly look at the print line on that bad boy all right here we go pan sage i'm pan sageual slugma nuts uh shroomish kangaskhan damn this is a tough set fire it is look at your boy getting another freebie off of a freebie the free off of a free free all right, here we go. All right, water is what we want next. We 
We get to guess energies on freebie packs? Yes. Let me get that fat print line Voltorb. Um, where was it? Thickums. We're looking for a water. We're looking for a water. Because we are thirsty for some hits. We got a water type. Mudkip with the butt. Got that booty floating out the water. Fuck it. Clay doll and a darkness. Okay. You've got one more freebie, bro. You want to guess the energy on it? My free pack guess is grass. All right, here we go. Grass. Grassy ass. Grass energy gang. Yo, these packs are so brutal. I know. It's Fusion Strike, man. All right, Araquanid, water, ugh, that is tough. <laughs> I'd swap sets, this ain't the one for you, bro. <laughs> she's, she's the devil. How many left? There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six left. Looks like. Six left. God help me. Last time he sold out of Fusion, they hit Gengar VMAX. Six, yep. Don't go bankrupt. Think of the groceries. Think of the bags of milk you have to buy at your local grocery store. Think of the bags of milk. Bro. Did I win that Gengar here? Um, God's people of my town. Be stupid. My yard sale post lists everything in it as well. It's time and date where I still get asked these questions. That's everywhere, Haunter. You're going <laughs> to... Oh, man. Trust me. I got a lot of listings on... Uh, offer up Facebook Marketplace and people they just go straight to stupid but I don't recall you being sold out uh, I don't think you won a Gengar I can't remember actually a Gengar? I don't think so Aki won 20,000 points and now has, uh, all right, last four. And he's hoping to get the other two six. Oh. All right, here we go. Damn, bro. Alright. Um, if you're getting the last six, I don't have any more of those packs to offer for free. So you could pick from a different set if you guess your energy correct. So 
So temporal paradox. Um, fighting, psychic, dark, steel. What about the other two? Arceus Bless. All right, fighting, fighting style jutsu. Anyone want to buy a box of Wild Forces super cheap so I could blow money here? The groceries are fine. Excel gore, no fighting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fusion strike, what's going on? The hardest set to complete in Pokemon history. After this, we got a box of Evolving Skies to go. <laughs> $20 a pack. Mel Metal. No Psychic. Now we're looking for Dark and then Steel. A double energy pack. No shit. Dark steel. And then what about your last two packs? All right, here we go. Huntail. Darkness. You've got a free pack here. You're going to lean that. Uh, just let me know what other set you want to get because I'm out of fusion. So you can play into another set now. I opened a pack on live one time with four energies in one pack. What the hell? How does that even happen? All right, let's go steal. Starmie and Pikachu energy. Nope. I'll get lost oranges one hard set right into the other. I had a bolt ton box with two promos. All right, here we go. Now we're looking for electric and grass. This can't be real. All right, let's go grass energy gang. Oh, do you remember Pokedog bought a booster box here and then gave everyone a pack? I didn't enter. I was lurking and Haunter pulled the Gengar. Yep. Last pack magic. And it's a Chandelure. With a water, no grass. All right, you got one free pack with your darkness, so it'll be lost oranges. All right, what do you want to guess on the LO? Rip. Fire. Ooh, you just like Marcella. Marcella always guesses fire on the lost oranges. Let's see if you do better than she does. Landorus and the Pikachu energy. Oh, boy. Boy, that was a rough, 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 rough run.
Inteleon Dancer Chandelure. Fusion Strike lured you in the wrong direction. I'm crying the saltiest tears possible. Uh, you and Static, both. I'm gonna throw you, uh... I'm going to throw you these stickers as a consolation prize in your bag. Because you had some terrible hits. So we're going to make it. Everything is better with stickers. Cause that was a rough run. I've never seen one so rough. Reverses going in. How come Inteleon isn't in Evolution? It ends with Eon like the others. Can I get a mystery pull or a loose card on the side? We can go mystery on you. Let's go. Let's go mystery. We've got a Zoroark. And a Giratina V. Nothing else in there. Ninth Island up in the building. Uh, yeah, a constipation prize. <laughs> All right, you got two hits out of there. That was better. Two hits in one one mystery pull, better than uh, half your fusion strikes. That's actually worth a bit. This man's in deep shiznit. Should have bought a hundred worth of mystery pools. I know. You could have had a slab. You could have had a Pikachu V box. You could have had a uh, anything else. I always try to steer people towards the mysteries. They have the best overall satisfaction rate. I hit a booster box the other day. Yeah, <laughs> Horror got an entire booster box out of there. So. I thought only cards. No, there's there's slabs. I'll show you. Couple of the slabs, couple of the boxes. Sealed shit. Also rare cards. Fuck, next time we're going into mystery pools. It's the place to be. So here's what slabs are in there right now. So we've got a a Pogo Japanese uh, Mewtwo and a 10. We've got Pogo uh, Spark and a 9. We've got Cubone Koro Koro Japanese Comic Promo in a CGC 8. We've got this 9.5 Maridon EX from Japanese Violet EX. Super Art Rare. And we've got the Nest Ball in a PSA 8. So that is in there. We've got this still in there, the Paradox Rift. And this box is also in there, in the mysteries. Ooh, I want that Cubone. As well as, I mean, this isn't much, but it's the metal uh, gold Mew. I just couldn't put it in the mix mysteries physically because it's so heavy that it's detectable when you pick it up. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't put a metal card directly in there. I had to write it on a um, on an energy card. 
energy. And then there's still one more um, two packs of one Silver Tempest, one Paldea Vault. So there's some packs and some stuff in there as well. That was like 20 packs of fusion and nothing. A UPC box? Yeah, Founder hit the Arceus UPC. Yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on. Potentials. A lot of potentials. Potential. As well as the regular cards that are in there. So, you know, it's kind of it's kind of stacked. There's a few Pokemon, uh, Ke Kecleon. The uh, the second K is actually a C though. Like C D's nuts. Is Pokey stocked still live? Learn your Pokemon. Just kidding. <laughs> Empoleon. Alice, do you know the answer to my evolutions question? What is it? Oh. That one, or was there another one? I want to. One was a PSA Zard, I think so. PSA ten. It's not an evolution. Intelligent chameleon. Intellion. Can't think anymore, but a couple, I'm sure it did. All right. Are we ready for Betty? After 1k Pokemon, they scratched it. We do need more evolutions, though, I'm telling you that much. Chameleon. I need to be cuddled for bed after that one. <laughs> I'm heading off to sleep. Yeah, we're probably going to call it uh, for the day. We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back for some more shenanigans tomorrow. Uh, it's probably best I go to bed. I got to get up early. I think I slept a little bit longer last night, so my headache didn't, like... I could feel it was starting to come in. Are you trolling? Uh, I can feel my headache coming in this afternoon, and it kind of didn't come all the way through, so that was good. Maybe I just need more sleep. Uh, hopefully I get fire next time. If you do mysteries, you will. <laughs> uh... I think they end with Eon so that they, when they sing, they can rhyme. I am doing mysteries next time. Good night. 
So yeah, we're gonna raid Pokey Stocked. I think he's still alive. Um, if not, then just go to bed. Uh, <laughs> go cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> and uh, I want to appreciate you guys. I want to say I appreciate you guys so much for coming out. I'm already losing my mind. Um, we'll, <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. I know sometimes, hey, Pokemon can be brutal sometimes. Some of these fucking Sword and Shield sets are tough as shit. Um, you know, uh, they're tough. Especially Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies. Those are probably the three toughest sets out of Sword and Shield. So, uh, you gotta be ready for war when you get involved with that shit. Uh, it was still fun at the end of the day. I appreciate you, man. Uh, yeah. You'll have better luck on the mysteries, though, man. I, 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 I guarantee it. <laughs> And, uh, again, head over to Pokestocks if you do have time. If not, you can go to bed. Uh, nobody's obligated to go anywhere. You don't got to go home, but you can't stay here because I'm ending the live. Hopefully, uh, I get paid for your lunch tomorrow. Hopefully, I paid for your lunch tomorrow. Fuck. I probably won't see that. I probably won't see that money until next month. I don't know when their cutoff period is for YouTube to payouts, but... They usually pay out between the 15th and the 22nd. So um, it might be already too late to even get that money for this month. So we'll see. But we'll see. I'll see what the amount is. And they don't really like break it down for you. Like where the money's that they pay you came from. So we'll, I don't even know. Um, But yeah, well, we'll see. Either way, I mean, I'm not tripping about it. It'll come when it comes, you know. It's always a good surprise when it, when money hits my bank account that I was, or, you know, I forgot about or wasn't expecting. So it's always good. Um, have a good night. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys again for coming out. Like I said, pokey stocked or go the fuck to bed. Two choices. Choices are yours and yours alone. We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you guys. Good night. I'm out. Peace. R.I.P. Tim Burns.